Hey, welcome everybody to another weekly Wednesday live stream. I'm Peter. I'm Jesse. And you may know Jesse indeed. He's uh, actually uh, been on the stream with us before, yep. uh, helping us out with a couple of things. Uh, Jesse, why don't you, if you want, introduce yourself to our uh, viewers and tell, tell them what you do at MSI. Uh, a whole lot, I, th I think. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so uh, I'm Jesse. I work at uh, MSI in, uh, in the Benelux, and um, I'm specialized in, uh, in everything uh, regarding notebooks. Um, so yeah, from uh, product development to introducing the, the products here in, uh, in the Netherlands, Belgium, um, and, uh, and Luxembourg. And um, yeah, we, we work together with uh, with our partners to um, um, yeah position our uh, our notebooks and uh, and offer them uh, to you. So that's uh, that's just in a nutshell uh, what I do. Right. Yeah. So uh, for you guys watching, uh, this the reason why Jesse is here is he's here to help us out. Uh, my area of expertise uh, is not really notebooks. I mean, obviously PCs in general and and all the components go into them, uh, but it's always a little bit different uh, with when it comes to notebooks. So uh, yeah, I asked Jesse to come because he yeah he, he knows a lot more about it. Uh, he's a lot lot of experience with them. Um, yeah, and we wanted to cover the. Uh, the recent launch, when I say recent, it was this Monday that we, uh, last Monday, that we uh, announced the, uh, as you can see in the background, that's the topic of today, uh, our HX or Intel HX series uh, powered notebooks. Yeah. And yeah, they, uh, as it says, it's a basically a whole new level of performance, right? Um, it, it definitely is. Um, so the, 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 the most uh, important feature with the HX uh, series is that uh, you have two more performance cores. Um, that's something we will get uh, yep. into later. A little bit more detail later on. Yeah, yeah, but... Um, Cheers, by the way, guys. It's my uh, <laughs> it, obligatory uh, cup of coffee I no, always get in nice, the stream. Nice, nice, nice. Shouldn't get thirsty. Mm. Um, yeah, so uh, you, you definitely notice uh, a significant uh, power increase, uh, depending on the user scenario, obviously. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, uh, indeed, uh, this this is going to be a, a phrase that's going to be uttered a lot during this live stream. But uh, everything is kind of also depending on the model of the laptop. So basically, also the the, the, the composition of the components, uh, what kind of uh, power draw you get, what kind of heat output, everything like that. Uh, everything you know, there are for, for every laptop there are uh, multiple uh, configurations yeah. <coughs> and to add to the uh, complexity not all configurations are available everywhere so That's it true. really depends on what you can find in your region uh, but you know in, in we're, we're basically going to be talking in general terms as well uh, but as you can see we have two actual models and I'm, I'm I can't touch them no, I will no, be no, I, no. he told me Jesse told me that I will be able to mm -hmm. uh, get my hands on one of them later on in this live stream we, so we'll decide uh, which one Peter will, uh, will play I, I can't <laughs> wait I can't wait um, so yeah we have two actual samples uh, here to uh, to mess around with yeah um, and I can promise you that at least one of them will be, uh, you know, we will gut open, let's say. And that's maybe the wrong way of saying it, but that is to say, uh, Jesse, because we'll, we'll I'm, I'm not touching these with a screwdriver, but he is. Uh, he's a brave man. <laughs> so he's going he's gonna to actually show you guys uh, the inside of one of them as well. Um, but yeah. more on that a little bit later. Before we go into a bit more detail, you can also see uh, on the uh, right side for you guys of uh, Jesse, we have a giveaway, as always, uh, Rainbow Six I Extraction. Point to that. Also, point to that. Yep, also that game we're going to be playing on these uh, laptops a little bit later on in the stream to show you guys, uh, you know, well, basically when it comes to this level of performance, a game like Rainbow Six Extraction is, is you know, peanuts, let's say. Anyway, plays really well. And uh, yeah, let's hope the connection works out as well. That we uh, we're gonna try and do some co-op. Uh, the only yep, problem we um, we see, yeah, Eric, I see you in the chat. Oh, this is why I'm not invited today. Yeah, because there's there's screwdrivers involved, and these <laughs> things are expensive. So <laughs> Eric got betrayed. Well, you know, Eric can't be in every uh, every single live stream. Um, but yeah, uh, you can win game codes for uh, Rainbow Six Extraction. The uh, giveaway, as always, you can go to uh, either to msi.com slash two slash insider to participate, or um, you can click on the uh, Gleam link, uh, which should be shared in the chat every uh, about five minutes, I think, uh, that we have set the bot to. 
Um, so yeah, hopefully <laughs> you guys can see that. Um, if not, let me know, then I can ask Eric to, uh, <laughs> to maybe activate the bot because I, I may have forgotten that, I'm not sure. Um, <laughs> anyway, uh, on with the show. Jesse, Definitely. can you tell everybody uh, which samples we have here yeah. today? Yeah, yeah. Which I ones we're going to look at? Um, so basically, this is the new uh, GE77, so the 17.3 inch model. Um, this has the latest i9 uh, HX processor, so that's the uh, 12900HX. Um, it is a slightly new body for us as well. The, complete top I don't know if you can see it that well on stream but this this has been um, maybe we can yeah, try re to redesigned let's, yeah. let's do it like that oh damn it's uh, inversed maybe you need to uh, flip it the, at least the the top the logo no, no. oh <laughs> like that the oh, MSI yeah right <laughs> no, 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 they, like no, on the side the MSI that, part it was uh, that's, upside that's, down that's anyway. odd that's odd but yeah, yeah, yeah I'll do it yeah, I'll do like it that. like that but yes yeah it's on the bottom now well we've got what 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 We've got somebody in the chat who, whose name is MSI GE seventy seven HX. Oh wow! What? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> so I, you know, I, you know I'm, more I'm than curious us, maybe. how long you've had that name. <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> but that's impressive. That's that's dedication. It's definitely dedication. Yes. Yeah. Um, um, so, in this case, it's the it's the the GE seventy seven, but in the GE. Uh, 67 you'll find the the same uh, the same new cover so um yeah the the, the a cover is what we uh, we call it so uh, this is a, a dark titanium color and you can see the the new msi engraving uh, right here so right now i've got it in an angle that it's really visible yeah but you it know, can also be it's very subtle actually it's yeah. very subtle yeah it's it's really subtle so yeah. If you look at it uh, from your own perspective, so maybe you will get to do that in the future. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's 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 really subtle, but uh, but it's it's a nice uh, it's a nice cool uh, cool way to uh, to show our logo. Yeah. Um, and together with uh, with our uh, our shield, obviously. So um, yeah, this is also in a titanium color. So uh, so very uh, very sleek, uh, I would say. Um, so as you are used from the from the latest uh, uh, GE chassis, we have uh, some I/O ports in the back. We have I/O ports on either side, and I'll get uh, into those later on. Yeah. Um, what uh, what the connectivity is like. Um, so maybe I can also show you the back because that's also totally different. <laughs> we are still yeah. on this. Yeah. yeah, sure. You can see a whole. Yeah, the a other lot side. of cooling, the heat pipes. Mm. Um, here is something engraved as well with MSI. Uh, yeah, it's yeah. a little bit difficult to showcase this. Yeah, here's yeah. where you can see it. And also on the right side for for the viewers, so you can see there. I can see it's like the 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 M or at least the yeah. three stripes. And underneath that is actually you can also really subtle in a way see the S. Uh, so okay. I guess the whole MSI logo is also kind of like stacked on top of each other yeah. there. Yeah. as one of the supports, as one of the feet. So that's a cool uh, detail. Yeah, exactly. Um, and, and again, uh, it's, all about, it's all about cooling, obviously. Yeah. With, with all the performance that we put in these, uh, these laptops, uh, it's, it's all about cooling. So here's where you can, uh, you can see the cooling, but hmm. um, yeah, you need a lot of you know, venting. Yeah. Um, so that's why you can see it because <laughs> you you need you need a lot of gaps to uh, intake to get uh, to get yeah it's it's an air intake uh, right exactly because I mean the theme of today and let me just quickly go back to the main view mm -hmm. really the theme of today and of these laptops is not like portability it's not uh, you know ultra light or or uh, uh, using them on the battery as long as possible it really is these things are are desktop replacements I guess in a way. Yeah. Um, these things really uh, come as close to desktop performance as you can possibly have for a, pretty much for a, for a laptop if you if you're looking for that. Um, but that also means again, you know, that basically, uh, yeah, you can you can still use them uh, on the battery, but because they've got the most powerful hardware on uh, or in there, yeah, you're gonna probably not be gaming for a long time on your battery. Um, and uh, the cooling needs to be really beefy as well because these things, and we'll get into this a little bit later, uh, for, for laptops, they, they have a big power budget. 
which is really cool because they obviously they convert that into performance. Yeah, yeah, hundred uh, percent agree. Yeah. You know, still you can you can tweak your uh, your settings yeah. with uh, with one of our uh, true predefined pre uh, scenarios, yeah. um, and and you can still use it. You know, if if you have to go to uh, to school, university, work, or wherever. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, and still enjoy quite some uh, battery life, uh, as yeah, long as you right. don't require uh, high power from the CPU or the GPU. You can actually yeah. show that later on. Indeed. Yeah. You, there are like settings and stuff that you can do to basically uh, still be able to work on a battery for a long, long time. But honestly, if you're looking for a laptop like this, uh, you're going for raw performance because that's yeah. really, th this is the top of, of performance that you can get. Yeah. And I, I, I'm already seeing you reaching for something. I mean, if you're really looking for something a little bit more, uh, still high end in terms of hardware, but a yeah. little bit more on the slim side, a little bit more like delicate and, and you know, something a bit more business-like, I guess. Yeah, yeah, definitely. It's, it's a full CNC aluminum version. You might have yeah. seen it earlier. Yeah. Uh, in, in one of the earlier streams, um, because I noticed uh, someone uh, saying we need a all aluminum chassis. Yeah. Well, we we have it. <laughs> we have that. Yeah. We have it yeah. um, with, you know, with 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 an i9 and a 3080 Ti, if you like. So yeah. The, we yeah, and we these are because these are this is a creator notebook, right? So this is really exactly. meant for yeah. content creation. And not that you cannot do that on, on either one of these laptops, because honestly, these are quite well suited for that as well in terms of the hardware. Yeah. Um, but we have a line specifically dedicated for that as well, uh, which comes pre-installed with also like a you know custom software that's more beneficial <coughs> to uh, creation software and stuff like that. So yeah. Uh, the, the ones before uh, Jesse right now, those are really meant for, for gaming and, and geared these, towards These that. are power beasts. Yes. Exactly. <laughs> so you already yeah. show, showed the uh, GE77, the Raider. Yep. Um, and you have another one there as well, right? Uh, I have another one. And that one is the Beast. This is our new Titan GT77. Um, so I'll just start with, with the cover. That's a little, yeah. little bit dirty, a little bit. Wow. <laughs> so we we try to clean it up as best yeah. we can. But <laughs> um, it's always true. I mean, there's a there's a buttload of light on there, so yes. you're gonna see every yeah, little see stain on there. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Yeah. So um, first off, the the logo it's uh, it's RGB, and later on I will show you the rest of the RGB from uh, from this side, and it's uh, it's actually synced together. Um, so you can have your uh, your RGB lighting uh, at, at at the back uh, together with uh, with your logo, and you can just choose uh, any color uh, that you like. Um, so obviously at uh, at the back there's a, there's a huge exhaust uh, port because it's 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 technically uh, a very very big exhaust port. There's also an intake and exhaust on uh, on the on top. The top. Yeah. Um, I and think on it's the I think it's only. Uh, intake that one mm. on the sides as you can imagine and all our ports uh, in this case are at, uh, at the left and, uh, and, and right side yeah we'll get into that a little bit later yeah and um, here's where we have the bottom um, this isn't as visible as the um, the, the the GE version but this includes uh, four fans. So usually you would find two fans, two main fans at least, yeah. uh, for cooling. This one has four. Um, it has a lot of heat pipes. It has a lot of heat spreading um, yeah, to, to basically uh, cool everything because uh, we can send immense power to, to both the CPU and the GPU in, uh, in a mobile chassis. Yeah, um, yeah and I might uh, demonstrate that uh, later. Yeah, and you mentioned that this one has the biggest cooling of, of, the, of both of them, right? Yes, <coughs> yes, yes. So and I see people are also asking, like, how heavy is it? Looks like heavy, really heavy. It um, is 3.3 uh, kilos. And, and the Raider by comparison, do you know? Uh, 2.7. 2.7, so it's actually yeah. not that bad. It's not that bad, no, yeah. definitely. No, I mean, no. I've, I've seen and, and had and, and handled heavier laptops, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. It is a beast. You know, it's, it's, it's not to say it's, it's a light uh, laptop, but no. it's, it's definitely not one of the heaviest I've ever seen. No, 
So it's not that bad, actually. It's, it's quite impressive that you, you managed to you know, put that much cooling and, and that level of performance in there uh, and still keep it, well, relatively light, I would say. It's relatively light, yeah, yeah. For, yeah. for what it is. Maybe uh, we can have a look later uh, yeah. how, um, yeah, how, how things uh, work in this one. Maybe that one, we'll, uh, we'll see. Um, yeah, you can, you can also see the, the sturdy hinges. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's, it's, it's quite visible, right? Yes. Yeah. So um, that's also uh, obviously very well, everything important about feature. it. It's like beefy and, and, and strong and just, you know, uh, it just basically says big chunky boy, uh, <laughs> you know, it does. Uh, and, and, and there's a lot of power in there. Yeah, yeah, it, it definitely is all about power and cooling that power. Yeah. So making it most as, uh, efficient as possible. Um, because, yeah, when, when you're using a lot of power, obviously uh, you need to cool it, otherwise um, the system w will look to, uh, to decrease, you know, uh, what to, to either CPU, GPU or anything that you are um, uh, not using at, uh, at the moment. Yeah. Um, but also for comparison, maybe I can, I can show it like that. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. Uh, trying. To, <laughs> to do that. I, I try to do it with graphics cards every now and again as well. Yeah, but it's, always, it's, it's, it, yeah. it's slightly, it's slightly it's not bigger, even but that it's not much. That's what I was saying. Like y when you said th there is like still a, like a half kilogram difference between them, a mm -hmm. bit more. I was actually surprised because yep. I didn't, you know, to me when I, when I was handling them earlier, it, they didn't feel that much different to me. There was a bit of a weight difference, but it wasn't like massive. It wasn't like oh, this one's clearly heavier, you know. Exactly. Yeah. 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 And it's, I mean, this part is, is, is much wider because of yeah. the, the thermal exhaust. So, yes. yeah, it, basically yeah. The, the, the most of the weight is uh, down to cooling. Yeah. yeah, which makes sense. I mean, this is for a lot of uh, components, you see that graphics card is the same thing, right? It's like uh, yeah. 80 80% 80 of the weight, uh, the rest is RGB, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, true. Uh, for those laptops, actually, maybe it's also... Uh, half true like 80 percent cooling and then the rest is rgb because there's a lot of rgb in those as well um i already see a lot of questions guys uh, these are going to be answered a little bit later as well about for example uh things like adaptive sync atmos um uh, adaptive sync i can already probably tell you yes i mean th these are nvidia uh, graphics cards in there so if you have a monitor that's uh either g-sync compatible or a g-sync monitor then yeah uh, i mean g-sync compatible is kind of similar to adaptive sync so that is that um, also asking about mechanical keys uh, yes we'll also get into that a little bit later but yes um, the website does not clarify um, yeah we, we will we'll try to clarify it as much as possible to you uh, later on uh, how much how much need power to work with full performance? I guess you're asking how much how much power does it use in terms of full performance? Well, we can actually get into that maybe uh, a little bit. Sure. Um, and what capacities? I mean, Jeremy, I, I'm seeing you asking about specifics like, hey, you know, what capacities are on offer? This differs per country. Yeah. Um, and there is like a maximum capacity. I'm not sure what it is. And also even uh, these laptops, they have multiple slots. Uh, I think both of them actually have multiple slots of M.2, which can be connected. The, yeah, the, the Raider, the, the I believe, Raider, has two. The Raider has two, yeah. and, uh, and the Titan has four. Four, so yeah, that's, that's a lot. I mean, for a laptop. Right, yeah. so you probably won't run out of uh, storage on that one uh, quickly, yeah. if you choose to uh, put uh, all the uh, M.2s in there. Yeah. Anyway, so there's a lot of things, and that's actually what we're gonna try and show you later on during the stream as well, when we open one of these up, we're gonna actually try to show you guys uh, the, the possibilities of upgrading, and uh, just, by hearing this, I think it's going to be the Titan because if you say that one has four slots uh, available, That's, I, 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 I want to see that. That might be very interesting to show. Yeah. 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 Um, anyway, uh, yeah, maybe uh, go to this part because we've prepared a couple of slides for you guys to talk a little bit about our laptops, it's kind of mm -hmm. to, to help uh, illustrate things. Uh, and I have a laptop to the right of me to uh, uh, steer the slide. So yeah, these are uh, our <laughs> nice. HX series gaming laptops. Yeah, <laughs> kind of have to go this way to uh, to click it. Anyway, uh, gaming laptops to um, uh, the HX series gaming laptops just la launched. Um, yeah, maybe you can maybe you can go uh, back to the first slide because yeah. then I can clarify oh, yeah, uh, sure. something a little bit. Yeah, uh, uh, so yeah. Uh, people asking about uh, Shaiki is asking as well. No showcase for GP Vector. I think indeed maybe that's something you can also uh, go into. I can address that. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, 
So here we do have the image for uh, the Titan, the, the GE, and, uh, and the GP vector. Um, today we, we only have the, the GE Raider and the, and, and the uh, GT Titan to, uh, to show you. Um, uh, but uh, we do have the uh, HX processor, so both the, the i7 and i9 versions. Uh, we do have them available in a GP vector, however, yeah, it, it differs per country. So, yeah, it, it really depends on, uh, on what will be, uh, will be offered. Yeah, um, yeah for, uh, for what I know here in, uh, in the Benelux, we will uh, definitely focus on, uh, on these two, uh, the, the, the GE and the GT series. Yeah. Yeah, so indeed, so the, unfortunately we, we couldn't get all the samples. We were actually quite happy we got two uh, already uh, with uh, actual HX samples as well. A uh, little bit of a disclaimer, the samples that we have here are uh, MVT samples, which means uh, they're not 100% final, but I, I think they're pretty damn close to it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we, we, you know, we also don't get all the samples. I think a lot of samples are out, uh, you know, doing uh, media reviews right now. Uh, so you'll see a lot of content already mm -hmm. popping up. Yeah. Um, and uh, from the coverage yeah. that I've seen so far, everybody's damn impressed uh, by the performance these things offer. Also, I could be wrong, but I, I think I'm quoting media if I'm saying that uh, MSI is the first with uh, uh, laptops. I mean, not the first to include HX in the laptops, mm -hmm. but the first, if not one of the first, to uh, really uh, up the ante in terms of the amount of power that we put in there. Yes, um, it's what that's what I've seen because I looked at a couple of the reviews um, and yeah, I was surprised to see that. But that was that's really nice. We we go beyond the, um, you know, the the dynamic. Uh, yeah. Beyond the standard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. There's a default. There's a default values, and then these laptops really uh, take it up a notch and really, uh, uh, yeah, use the. Um, uh, or make use of the, the potential that's being offered by these uh, HX uh, laptops. And also another couple of uh, tricks, basically technical tricks up our sleeves, uh, which we can also talk about a little bit later. Yeah, sure. But yeah, at the yeah. moment we, we only have the, uh, well only, but we, we have the Titan uh, GT77 and the Raider GE77. So mm -hmm. unfortunately the Vector not, but yeah, I think you already explained a little bit. I mean, the Vector, it's... Uh, a, vector, a Vector is basically... Um, you, you can compare it to, uh, to the GE chassis yeah. because it, it does have the same uh, I.O., it does have the same look and feel, um, it, it does have a, a different design, uh, doesn't have RGB, doesn't have uh, a 4K uh, panel or anything like that, um, but it does have the basic uh, hardware configuration that you would require. So if, if you're really looking for per, uh, pure uh, performance, uh, but without any of the, uh, the, the flashiness, yeah. uh, I would say, then you can choose a vector because the vector still uh, can offer like the, the i9 version of the HX series, uh, 64 gigs of RAM, um, yeah, a lot of uh, SSD capacity um, and up to uh, 3080. Yeah, if you would like. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So yeah, and again, also it depends in uh, what kind of series are uh, available in your region. So maybe the vector is available for in, in your uh, country or your region. Uh, but as uh, Jesse said as well, in the Benelux, uh, unfortunately, uh, well, not unfortunately, you, you have the the Titan and the uh, Raider, and the vector is uh, well at least not yet. Uh, you never know. Maybe it will become available at some point here, but. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, at least to start off, we've got the <laughs> other two. Yeah. Um, so that's also why we have those here, obviously. Um, yeah, uh, so looking at the Raider first, I mean, we already took a look mm -hmm. at it a little bit, but let's, uh, before we really go into detail, uh, also let's talk about HX a little bit, because what is HX? I yeah. think for a lot of people, this is kind of like, you know, okay, what the hell does that even mean? Um, well, Basically, it's what I've read as well, is they basically say it's, uh, they try to bring desktop uh, performance or, or basically the desktop uh, CPU into the laptop. That's kind of the concept. Um, and as you can see in this slide, th th what that means is you get uh, a bit more cores. Uh, the performance is uh, a bit higher because you've got uh, more power to play with. Mm -hmm. uh, the TDP on the previous uh, series was what, 115 watts? 
yeah. off the top of my head, yeah. uh, like the, the, the top end ones. Mm -hmm. I, saw, I saw the comparison slide somewhere. Um, and so these ones go up to 150 uh, or even higher, uh, yep. depending on the configuration. So that is a big jump in performance. And if you're able to convert that into, um, uh, into more performance, that's a big jump. So that's also where one of the big differences comes from. This is compared to uh, an 11th gen uh, in this case. Um, but still, even comparing a 12th gen H series uh, to <coughs> the HX already is, again, is also a really big jump. Yeah, it really, really is a big jump. So uh, for, for the people that uh, did or didn't watch um, the, um, the launch with, uh, with Intel's HX series, um, so the, the predecessor for, for this CPU, so the, I would say the regular uh, H series would have six P cores, so six performance cores, um, eight E cores, and you would have 20 threads. Um, yeah. In the HX series, there are two P cores added, um, which both offer two threads, so you would end up to uh, 24 threads. Um, yeah, and, and, and we can manage to, uh, to go all the way up to 150 watts yeah. solely to the, to the CPU. Uh, it all depends on the scenario. You know, sometimes you need a lot of CPU power, sometimes you need a lot of GPU power. Yeah. Uh, sometimes you need both, but it's, it's usually one, one or the other. But uh, yeah, we can get in that, uh, into that later. Yeah. yeah, and here's, I mean, a little bit of an overview of oh. what you were telling yeah. a little bit as well, exactly. like the concept behind the HX platform um, yeah, you get more P cores, uh, especially, so more performance cores. Uh, those are the ones that really count for, for example, for gaming or, or even productivity tasks, uh, like compiling or whatever. Um, you have, uh, I believe, a few more uh, PCIe lanes available as well, which is really important when it comes mm -hmm. to, well, pretty much everything, but also especially uh, storage. Yeah, yeah. Um, so as you can see there, uh, uh, also uh, you know broad memory support with DDR5, which uh, obviously also in, in our models uh, is they are decked out with uh, DDR5. Um, but yeah, when it comes to the uh, advanced PCIe Express, um, I'm not sure. I mean, somebody saw say in, said in the chat that uh, it was uh, like you had, for example, on the Titan you had four times uh, M.2 slots, but only one uh, supported Gen 5. I'm not sure. That's it. Yeah, that's, that's correct. correct. Yeah. Yes. But yes. I mean, it's. Uh, in a time where I think right now, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think that Gen, Gen 5 uh, PCIe, uh, or sorry, M.2 SSDs are pretty much available yet, no. or at least not <laughs> really in a, in a consumer fashion. We are ahead of the curve, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> so it's, it's, it's not really a problem. Uh, uh, unless really, uh, you know, at some point, it's more being, you know, uh, the future proofing doesn't exist, but this mm -hmm. is kind of as close as you can get to it. Yeah. Where... You know, once they start coming out, you can actually uh, put one in there as soon as you uh, as soon as you can get your hands on one. So that's really nice. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So um, DDR5 is becoming more available, yep. fortunately. Um, so yeah, the the GE series has uh, uh, two slots for DDR5, supporting uh, up to 64 gigs of memory, huh. uh, and the the Titan series um, offers four slots DDR5. Um, yeah, which, which are uh, 4800 MTS. Uh, and you can go up to 128 uh, gigs of, uh, of RAM. Yeah. Um, so yeah, might, might be a, a choice for you if you are doing a very complicated uh, math. Uh, <laughs> uh, very high-end content production yeah, or whatever. Yeah, I mean, yeah. that's why, why I was saying exactly. like the most demanding tasks that you want to do on a, on a laptop that's really what this platform is is for. It's yeah. pretty much yeah as high as you can get uh, for, for when it comes to laptops. Yeah, um, definitely. Yeah, maybe a little bit. Um, here we go. Yeah. Uh, also, something that's I, I'm not really sure if this is new, but I, I saw this slide <laughs> as well, and I thought let's let's include it here because it's really, you know, there's a lot of normally when it comes to laptops, you don't really see overclocking as a thing, uh, at least not in the past in a lot of generations, um, because of the, the like the limited thermal uh, space and uh, it didn't make, really make sense. Everything mm -hmm. is more about efficiency and, and finding the balance between what you can still uh, deliver in terms of performance uh, without throttling, you know. Uh, but here they're really taking it up a notch by talking about, you know, 
overclocking and really boosting the performance a bit higher. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's something I didn't see for a while. Uh, so I also thought that was uh, that was interesting. Yeah, it really, really is. Uh, so we had a segment earlier um, about uh, uh, Kingston. Yeah. Uh, I think it was last week. It was last week. Yes. Yeah, 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 it was last week. Um, so it was together with uh, with with Kingston about uh, memory, and uh, here they also talked about uh, the uh, the XMP profiles. Mm. Uh, yeah, and they they are supported in in the laptops as well. Yeah. Yeah. So that's always good indeed for more performance. Yeah. Um, all right. Then uh, a bit of an overview. I mean, there's especially with laptops, there's like too many features to talk about. So uh, basically just want to highlight a couple uh, for you. Um, Jesse, if you want to uh, take it away. Yeah, yeah sure, <laughs> sure, sure, sure. Um, yeah, so for the, the GE77, again, the, the one that, uh, that I have in front right here, um, we have multiple um, uh, options for, uh, for your screen. Um, so, so it's either a, a full HD 360 hertz, uh, a quad HD 240 hertz, or the which, uh, which one I have uh, in front of me is a, a ultra HD 120 hertz uh, screen. Um, these, these are all 100% um, uh, DCI P3 uh, for, uh, for your colors. Um, apart from the, the Full HD one, that's 100% uh, that's sRGB um, mm. because it, it really needs a faster panel to, uh, to achieve that uh, 360 hertz. Um, for the GE67, we have an exclusive version with OLED. Uh, which is actually 240 hertz uh, QHD OLED 240 hertz, which is a uh, uh, very impressive uh, <laughs> refresh rate, if mm. I may say so myself, on uh, on an OLED screen. Um, so I'm dying to get uh, to get <laughs> to get my hands on that one to test it out. Yeah. Um, actually, we see in your slide uh, 230 watts, but that's not correct. No, yeah, honestly, this is also some of the things that like uh, leading up to this launch, I think was uh, updated a lot where they were really looking for, okay, well, how, how much can it do? So indeed this value apparently isn't, uh, probably isn't completely accurate. Yeah. Um, well, fortunately we managed to squeeze out 250 watts. <laughs> yes, yeah, exactly. So it's even so, higher than what so, it mentions yeah. there, which even is even more impressive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and so um, also if you're you're looking to uh, to stream, for example, on uh, on this uh, this chassis, uh, we offer a full HD camera. Um, might be in benefit uh, for some uh, some cases, but you can also <laughs> switch it off if uh, if you don't like to uh, to use the camera. Um, so yeah, I think that's uh, those are the most uh, noteworthy uh, the points that we have here in uh, in our visual. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, I mean, here's basically the same slide, but with a little bit of uh, yeah, text, bit uh, text clarification. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah I mean, the, the I.O. This on the radar. Yeah, yeah. So it's uh, quite an, uh, an extensive I.O. Um, let's let's yeah. begin. Let's begin on the, on the first uh, first part. Um, so here we have our uh, uh, USB Type A uh, ports, uh, together with a with a full size SD slot. Um, yeah, in certain cases you uh, you might want to want to use that for content creation uh, purposes. Um, so on the back we have our uh, power. Let me see. Yeah, that's uh, this one. <laughs> um, power input. Um, we have HDMI. We have uh, you know the, the, the LAN ports or the RG45, and we have um, a Thunderbolt port. Which is nice if you are uh, using a docking station, um, because then you can basically connect everything on the back on uh, on this unit. Um, so on the other side, we uh, we still have a, a combination uh, three and a half millimeter jack. Um, this is a USB-C port together with display port. Um, so if you would uh, would want to connect up uh, multiple monitors that's possible you can uh, you can up to um, um, you can have up to three external monitors actually mm. uh, so that's uh, that's really uh, really interesting it's a neat uh, neat feature and another uh, USB port if you uh, if you don't use a, uh, a docking station mm. yeah 
so that's uh, basically about the the IO because it's uh, it's quite <laughs> it's quite extensive. Yeah, it's nice yeah. to have a Thunderbolt port, I think. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Um, I see somebody already asking Shaiki, how how big is the battery adapter? We'll get to that, and trust me, it's going to be worth it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Nasser is asking, does the QHD OLED support HDR? Uh, not sure, but I would expect so. Yeah, it, it does support HDR. Um, I'm not a hundred percent sure which rating. It, yeah, it would be it would be a guess. Yeah. So, um, but in general, yes. But yeah. but you know the rating indeed. Uh, probably mm, I'm not sure. Maybe we can uh, find that somewhere. But no, 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 no. You can't. No. It's not yet. No, uh, unfortunately not. Ah, okay. No, no, no. Well. No, in some in some cases you would find HDR 600, but it's yeah, someone already mentioned it, so uh, it, it it should be uh, HDR 600. Yeah. 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 All right. Uh, no micro SD reader. No, it's a full size. <laughs> um, Wait, uh, detailed cam. Yep. Here we go. So it's a full size and SD if, card. If, yeah. And then yeah, you have if, an if you have an adapter, micro, you, yeah, you, yeah. you can use your uh, micro yes. version. Yeah. So that's pretty cool still. Yep. Um, why does MSI refuse to use adaptive sync on their laptops? How do you mean adaptive sync? Do you mean like natively on the, the display of the laptop itself? Or do you mean when you connect external monitors? Because as far as I know, we, we don't really um, not use it, uh, but no. s seeing as this is a, a you know, a GeForce, um, discrete graphics card included in these models um yeah they're, they're, it's it becomes more either you know uh, g-sync compatible or g-sync instead of adaptive sync even though again g-sync compatible is kind of similar it's yeah and then adaptive right. sync yeah i mean again it's right. like the, it's uh, different names for for uh, for the similar similar ish solution Adaptive Sync is the, uh, you know, like the, te the technology name, let's say, and uh, AMD is calling it, uh, or Radian is calling it uh, FreeSync, that's their name for it, um, and uh, NVIDIA is, they, they have their own um, solution which requires also different hardware in the monitor, which is G-Sync, which allows the monitor to communicate directly with the graphics card and uh, have uh, pretty much a full range of, indeed, um, you know, uh, synchronization of, of uh, output and display and you have the G-Sync compatible which is more similar to uh, adaptive sync in a way because it doesn't require the monitor to have the specific hardware module inside of it. Yeah. Maybe we can uh, move on. Yeah. Peter. On the laptop screen itself, I, I'm not sure, I think it is, it, it does have uh, sync but I'm not sure. Yeah. All laptop screens are G-Sync compatible. There you go. Yeah. And and maybe even G-Sync indeed. Maybe on a. I'm not sure if this Titan. Maybe we can check that out later if it's G, indeed G-Sync yeah, or G-Sync compatible. Have some settings available. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, but yeah, should have it. Um, moving on then. Yeah, uh, this is something we still want to highlight. Even though I mean, again, you know, these laptops are not really uh, uh, aimed at this. Uh, you know, at, at at working on a battery as long as possible. In the first place, uh, their main purpose is to have the most powerful hardware in there and basically be a desktop replacement. But as Jesse mentioned, uh, if you do need to work uh, you know, on a train or whatever, you know, on, on the go, um, this is the biggest battery that's allowed, at least on an airplane. I think, again, yep. this, the term we used a lot is barely legal battery <laughs> uh, because it's, it's like just, you know, if you go over this by even a little bit, you're not allowed to bring it on a plane, for example. So um yeah and that means that still you can uh, if, if you tune everything down the performance you're not playing games but you're just you know i don't know checking emails just doing light stuff uh yeah you could probably still get uh, quite a lot of uh, life out of it yeah. someone mentioned uh creator pro x17 details ah, um yes. Squid I, I will uh, get into that a little bit later uh just just a couple hints though. yeah 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 uh, does the laptop have advanced Optimus? I think you know more about that, right? 
Um, I have to say, I don't really do a lot with uh, with software. Um, it does have Optimus, I yes. know. Like, yes, that but but I'm not sure definitely. what advanced Optimus means. If there's like a, a like, that sounds like a premium version, but I'm yeah. not sure what that is. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, all right. Uh, let's see. So yeah, the battery, uh, always important. Uh, audio also uh, something that they uh, did a lot with uh, this with these models, right? I mean, traditionally yeah. we've been working with DIN audio for quite a while. Yeah. Um, but yeah. What so, you, what uh, can you tell about this? Yeah. Well, both uh, both laptops have uh, um, uh, subwoofers in uh, integrated, um, especially the uh, the GT uh, series. They have uh, they have nice uh, subwoofers. Um, the, uh, this one has a mix. Um, is this something you can actually see from? Uh, no, no, not holding? really. I oh, was okay. looking. I was looking into yeah. it myself. <laughs> but um, usually they're quite well hidden, right? Yeah, yeah, they they really are hidden. <laughs> on, I think on this one, uh, yeah, on the Titan, you can you can definitely uh, see something. Um, yeah, at, at the edges. Um, right. Yeah. So maybe. those aren't really air intakes, I guess. Well, no, maybe no, no. Doubling this, this, this really is for speakers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So maybe also here. No. Mm. That one has, I think, on the yeah. side, right? The. Um, yeah, you mean at the side of the keyboard? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not so. sure if that's for speakers or if that, that's really more for. Uh, I think it's speakers, right? Also. It, uh, yes. Yeah. It, it's also uh, also for speakers mm. because yeah, th and these are these are dual actually. So these are dual speakers, um, hmm. but you know, let's uh, let's try to open up the the Titan uh, hmm. a little bit later on, yeah, and then yeah, sure. uh, then I'll just show you. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's yeah. uh, that's much better. Exactly. I mean, uh, uh, the the quality of these speakers they they do increase, you know, over time. They uh, especially for for the Titan series and and the GE, it's it's quite nice. Um, personally, I would also. Yeah, I would I would always say just get a headset, just get a noise cancelling <laughs> headset and enjoy the immersion. Yeah. Um, but if you if you just wanna wanna listen to uh, to music or podcast or your favorite uh, movie or, or stream, mm -mm. Um, you can definitely do it with uh, with yeah. uh, with the sound these produce. Yeah. Uh, is speaker and headphone burn in real what? Yeah, I don't know. That's, that's <laughs> something I, I don't never know. heard about. What are you saying? What? <laughs> right. So I've 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 heard about like screen burn in, especially on OLEDs, it, when you know if you keep them on the same thing for a long, long time. But mm. anyway, I see audio files talk about a lot. Okay, interesting. Mm. Uh, I'm not an audio file myself, but uh, yeah, that's. That is an I know about concept. the hardware, so that, that's yeah. my uh, yeah. Yeah, 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 <laughs> expertise. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, why does the laptop not stand on feet so there's more cooling on the back? So I guess you're saying is why doesn't it really... I mean, there are well, feet it, it, there. It does, it does have it. Yeah. Maybe you can... Uh, yeah. So it does have, yeah. you know, feet, spacers. Raising it up uh, a little bit, yeah. Both, yeah. So it, it, does, it does raise it up, but yeah, obviously we don't want to... <laughs> have even thicker ones. Why, why uh, not the, the, put those lap? Oh, sorry, the uh, uh, keyboard feet. You know that you can extend, like uh, click out, and then yeah, it's yeah, even yeah, higher. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No. Uh, maybe maybe that might be a nice uh, added future. Uh, Who knows? Yeah. 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 But uh, we'll we'll see. Um, th this this is all the the cooling that we need. So it's not necessary to to widen this and uh, um, yeah. Maybe uh, you can you can find a, a solution yourself if you really require even more air intake, but it shouldn't be necessary actually. Yeah. Yeah. Do we expect burning with gaming UI on the OLEDs? Ah, I don't think so. I mean, um, we 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 thoroughly test uh, the laptops. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it, this is. It really depends <laughs> if you if you keep it like on twenty four seven on the same UI and and but I honestly I don't who games twenty four seven at least like multiple days you can do it like over a weekend sure but um, you know so as long as you don't use it like as a as a as a billboard let's say and and have the same image on for I don't know weeks at a time months then probably burn in is not going to happen no. 
uh, considering that most people will be using this for a variety of things, you know, g playing games, just checking your mail, checking social media, doing all <laughs> kinds of stuff. Um, yeah, it should yeah. be fine. Yeah. Uh, so GG Well Play Tech uh, <laughs> mentioned um, doesn't say there's a mock switch, but both mm -hmm. laptops do have a mock switch, yeah. and you can switch between discrete graphics and hybrids. Yeah, that's correct. How many hours do we test the gaming laptop so it will not burn from the heat? Uh, oh, over well, and over. I'm, I'm, yeah, I don't have uh, uh, you know statistics on, uh, on on minutes or hours, but um, yeah, they they are thoroughly tested. <laughs> not just that, but it's like <laughs> there's always a point that if it does get too hot, either the cooler will will you know start to spin faster to cool mm -hmm. it down a bit. Uh, and in the most extreme case, for example, say you, you're, you're, I don't know, intentionally or unintentionally blocking all the air inlets and outlets just to suffocate it and see what happens. Uh, it would probably just throttle itself down to keep the temperature within uh, acceptable values to kind of, you know, to, to uh, protect itself. Uh, that's, so yeah. yeah, that's in the most extreme case, something you should never ever do and that should never happen, but yeah. So yeah, no, like burning, that no. They don't do that. You can you can try afterburner on them. That's something, but yeah, that's well, interesting. Yeah, it's a bit, <laughs> uh, a bit different. Um, okay, so chronic mayhem. I think I yeah I I, I get it indeed. So you basically you're saying uh, indeed they get better over time. Uh, the speakers. That's what you're asking. Like the burn in. Mm. It's a different burn. It's like. Uh, um, Indeed, playing them for a while and then uh, kind of getting them into gear. I guess. Yeah. Uh, the, so that the, the cone is. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Loosened, or I don't loosened, know how you want to yeah, call it, yeah. but yeah. So yeah. it will, it will, it will get better over time, indeed. So yeah. probably, yeah. That's now I know what you mean. Sorry. Uh, I, whenever somebody says burn in, I first thing I think about is like you know OLED burn in or something like a bad thing. But in this case, it's actually good. Yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, probably. Yeah. Um, I'm, I think I'm pronouncing your name correct, like this. Shiki uh, <laughs> on YouTube is asking. Um, if we are offering 3080 version uh, with uh, 16 gigs of VRAM, so again, I'm, I'm only talking about the, the laptops. Um, only the 3080 Ti has 16 gigs of RAM. Yeah. So the 3080 has 8 gigs. Yeah, I'm also not, again, I'm, I'm not aware of the notebook uh, or so, yeah, the mobile versions of graphics cards uh, and, and what their normal configuration is. So I'm not sure if there's like two versions of it now maybe um so when when the 3080 uh was was just uh released yeah. uh through nvidia then then there was uh, a 16 gig version hmm. uh with a transition to ti um yeah there's a, there's a there's a decision made that we uh we are offering the the 3080 with uh, with 8 gigs and the 3080 ti with uh, with 16 gigs right um yeah obviously you, uh, if, if you need more VRAM, um, you'll be using rendering processes. Um, yeah. So maybe it's, it's not just the RTX version you're looking for. Maybe you, you want an uh, A3000 or A5500. Not sure. 8 gigs is still quite a lot. It, uh, it, it in, is. In most yeah, cases. yeah it's, it, it's, it's definitely a lot for, uh, for gaming. So. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, like it, like you mentioned, in, in specific use cases, probably especially when it comes to maybe video editing or you know really mm -hmm. render heavy rendering tasks, yeah, uh, you might benefit from from more. But then you're really looking into probably into to higher end uh, graphics card solutions anyway, uh, because of the raw uh, performance that you you get as well as the increased VRAM. Yeah, uh, is eight gigs of VRAM okay for 1440p gaming? I think yes. so. I yeah, think honestly, yeah, yes. most it games. It, it, again, it depends. There, there will always be some games, and and if you're doing, you know, crazy mods, you, you'll be able to to, uh, you know, get above that threshold probably in some games. But uh, at 1080p, it's definitely plenty. 1440p, I think for the most part, is going to be okay. 4K, uh, some games might kind of push that threshold, but yeah, it, it's it, they're more the exception than the rule, I guess. Yeah. I'm just turning this on to, to show people some, uh, some nice... Uh, <laughs> there you go, yeah. yeah. <laughs> turning on the afterburner. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> does the laptop support external GPUs? Uh, uh, sorry again. 
does the laptop support external GPUs? Yes. I know there used to be, indeed, like, I'm not sure if they still have them, like these external GPU mm -hmm. housings. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that's through Thunderbolt, though, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. OK. So yeah, so we, 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 have, we have Thunderbolt 4, and uh, hmm. you, you are able to, uh, to, to, to switch. But in this case, uh, it wouldn't really be necessary. Mm -hmm. um, if you would want an external GPU, I would suggest that, um, that you would use like uh, uh, one of our Prestige or Summit series because they don't have um, um, a discrete GPU or, or maybe just a, a 3050, which is still still nice, uh, yeah. a nice GPU, but if you need a lot of extra power. For um, raw gaming and yeah. Yeah, then, then, then you could use it in, uh, in, that, uh, in that sense. Um, but yeah. in these cases, you, you, I don't see a benefit for, uh, for an external GPU. Yeah. Eight gigs isn't near enough, David James says. For what exactly? What, what, what do you have in mind? In the cases that we uh, checked out, eight gigs was, uh, <laughs> was yeah, fine. Yeah, exactly. It was still, it was still <laughs> fine. It, it yeah. looked like it, yeah. yeah. Um, and 4K on a laptop, I believe, is more for creative purposes. It, it depends, I guess. Uh, some people just like 4K just to have 4K. Um, but I think, indeed, you know, most people gaming on 4K, uh, it's still, even for, for PC, I, a lot of people that, I don't know that many people that actually game on 4K yet. Um, it, it, we're getting there, but now it's like, like 1080p is still, I think the vast majority of people still, you know, gaming on full HD on, on 1080p. That's what I do. Uh, 1440p <laughs> is, is, is definitely gaining ground. Uh, 4K as well, but I mean, we, again, the vast majority is still 1080p. Um, after that comes uh, Quad HD or 1440p. And then 4K is still, it, it sounds strange after so many years of talking about 4K gaming, but it still is uh, a, a relatively small number of people that actually game on 4K. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it, and it's not to say that it's uh, it's bad or anything. It's just that it's that's the reality that we see in terms of the the, the raw statistics, the numbers. Okay, so I turn it off again because it's <laughs> uh, it's necessary. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and also indeed, if you're if you're talking about a laptop panel, um, it's the same with with phones for some uh, people as well. That you you had a while ago, there was you know phones, and there still is, of course, uh, with uh, 4K screens. But because there's you know they're they're tiny compared to PC monitors or TVs, it honestly anything behind beyond uh, 1440p probably, and and then uh, 4K, you probably you'll be hard pressed to see the difference. Uh, with laptop screens, they're a bit bigger. So it makes a little bit more sense. Mm -hmm. But even there, indeed, if you're really sitting up close to it, a 4040p is probably, I, I was talking to uh, Mike earlier as well, and he really said as well, like, you know, 4040p really is kind of the sweet spot, I guess, yeah. for most people, yeah. especially if you're used to uh, either 4K or 4040p on a, on a big screen, on a, on a normal monitor um, or a TV, then 4040p on a, on a laptop screen is yeah, just, you know, really nice. It's really crisp and uh, sharp already. So 4K, of course, it's going to be a little bit more sharp, but... Um, for most people, it's going to be diminishing returns, I guess. Yeah. So and for, and for gaming, really you, uh, I think you just uh, want a fast response time. Yeah. So your refresh rate needs to be high. Um, uh, you know, we you know, we we offer full HD, quad HD, and uh, and ultra HD, and they they all have their uh, their reasons. You know, the, the one one is for better color accuracy, and one is for uh, for higher refresh rate for. Uh, uh, for esports games, if you really want to hit uh, 300 FPS or something, <laughs> yeah. Um, Anthony is saying uh, he's, he's right. You can always downscale. I, I used to say mm. this a lot to my friends as well when they asked me about you know oh what kind of monitor should I get, and I always told them uh, until I don't know about a couple of years ago, I always told them eh, just get a high high resolution because you can always you know put it on a lower resolution. Um, but I kind of stopped saying that because, to be fair, if you're not using the native resolution of the monitor, there's there's always the risk of... Uh, some monitors are, are fine when you do that. But most, or a lot of monitors, actually, I've seen that even if you if it's a 4K monitor but you run it on 1440p, it's not as good as a 1440p native monitor because you're still kind of um, having to share pixels and it's it's... 
you know, you're going to see some artifacts probably, especially if you're mm. paying attention to it. So yeah. running a monitor at the native resolution, for me, in my personal opinion, always looks a bit better than bringing a, uh, for example, a 4K monitor down to 1440p. Y you can still see that difference uh, in a way. <laughs> VRK, also good to see you again, my friend. Um, Give me a free one. Give me one as well. I mean, we, we're we're gonna have to give these ones back to uh, to FAE, to uh, Ruth and uh, and Peter, who are also a lot uh, guests on our live stream a lot of the time. Um, when can I get the Raider GE sixty seven HX? Uh, depends on uh, where you live. And, yeah. Uh, yeah, I would say soon. <laughs> but availability um, I I starting. Now almost pretty much. I mean, it, like the first yeah. shipments have pretty yeah. much gone yeah. out. So first, first shipments uh, yeah. have been released. So obviously, I can only speak for um, the Benelux, um, yeah. but we expect the the GE. So the GE sixty seven and the seventy seven. Uh, we expect them both um, yeah, next week. So that's uh, it's very soon. Uh, and the same for uh, for the GT. It, uh, yeah, it might uh, take uh, one yeah. or two weeks longer, but that's it. Mm -hmm. But it should be, you know, getting available already. Um, should be, yeah. Does the GT77 offer also offer a QHD 240 hertz screen? I think so. I think most of these laptops are available. Again, it depends on your region. Yeah. But in general, um, they are. Uh, uh, we we make them. Uh, in three different variations, correct? Yeah, correct. By and large, if you're not yeah. if you're not talking about the OLED for a second, but yeah. um, so you've got full HD or 1080p, 360 hertz. You've got uh, quad HD or 1440p, 240 hertz, or you've got uh, UHD, Ultra HD, 4K, uh, 120 hertz. So those are in rough terms. Those are the the choices in terms of the, the screen that you can uh, have. Yeah. And then it depends and per country, because not all uh, countries will have all of the choices available. Uh, they kind of have to make a choice and, and uh, guesstimate, I guess, which, which of the configurations will be most popular in their country, obviously. Uh, yeah, and that definitely. will be probably what you see in your local retailer, e-tailer uh, shops. Yeah. Usually you would find like uh, a Quad HD or Ultra HD in, uh, in, in one of these. Um, and then if you would want to consider like the, the GE uh, because of the HX uh, processor, but you really want a full HD 360 hertz version, then you might uh, want to look at the vector. Yeah. Because the vector only comes with either the full HD or quad HD. And it, yeah, again, it really depends on uh, uh, the country you live in. Um, but there should always be a solution for what you're looking for. <laughs> Abdullah is asking, what is the price for, I guess he wants to know what is like the, 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 the range of pricing here. And again, this also <laughs> differs per region, per country. Yeah. But if yeah. you're talking about uh, our market, can you, can you say a range? Like they, they're roughly available from this uh, pricing uh, up to this, pretty much? I mean, yeah, it's, but, but that's such a wide figure. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it would be somewhere between uh, 3K and... 5500 right. but it, it really really depends and um, when I'm when I'm talking about 5500 then then we are really into the creator pro x 17 series with, with yeah. like an a5500 so that's yeah the GPU itself is already really expensive hmm. um, so it, it, it really depends on uh, on either where you live right. um, and, and what kind of configuration that it is yeah, yeah. I see. I don't want to ignore you, uh, Alwyn. Alwyn Slump God uh, keeps asking, "Do you have? Do we have a good notebook for around nine hundred dollars?" Probably, but that's not yeah. the ones we're talking about today. <laughs> no, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because then, I mean, there's a different different segment for that, right? That's. Uh, I think they're believe. I believe they're called the Katana and. Uh, yeah, we have. Uh, so we have a GF uh, Thin series. We have the Katana uh, series. Yeah. We have a Pulse series. There you go. Um, yeah, it, it really depends on uh, yeah. um, what kind of configuration you're looking for. What yeah. what what is the aim of the laptop? Yeah, that's basically it. Yeah, indeed. Um, let me see. Gigi well played. Tech. Yeah. He, he um, asks about the mini LED. Ah, 
right. uh, versions. So yeah, for now, uh, we had it exclusively for, for creator series. Um, maybe we, uh, we might see mini LEDs in, in gaming laptops in the future, mm. uh, but I cannot confirm anything uh, right now. Mm. So indeed, we, we, we don't have a crystal ball, so we can't really uh, no. No. see that, but yeah. Let's just say, that, you know, if there's if it makes sense from a technical standpoint, and there's enough demand, and and, and people asking for it, then yeah, <coughs> there's there's a high probability that it's going to happen. Yeah, uh, or higher at least. Yeah. Um, yeah. Before we move on, let's uh, let's already uh, uh, do some winners because uh, we've got uh, a couple of codes to give away today. Again, um, we've got uh, Rainbow Six Extraction game keys to give away. Um, yep, right there. Thanks, Jesse. Uh, <laughs> so you can go to msi.com slash two slash insider or click on the link that's being shared in the chat every uh, five minutes. Uh, there you can perform a couple of actions. The more actions you perform, you uh, add points to your tally. Uh, the more points you have, the more chance you'll have to win. It's a random uh, drawing of winners. And uh, if you are a regular viewer, you can also use your um, <laughs> Use your uh, 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 loyalty bonus points, uh, which you can do every single live stream. Uh, they they don't uh, you don't spend them basically. You keep accruing them, and you can uh, you can throw them in there every single live stream. Um, and I'm just gonna draw some winners. And because we're already an hour into the live stream, pretty much, um, I'm gonna do four already. Ooh. So four of you guys are gonna uh, be lucky winners. Um, all right, I've got a couple of you guys. Oh, and also, uh, just as a reminder, please make sure you enter a nickname because if you don't have a nickname, uh, I can't really call out any winners. Um, we could still send you an email, but still, it's nicer if we can just announce whoever won on the live stream. Um, so luckily, all these uh, four winners that we just drew uh, actually do have uh, nicknames. So the first one is, uh, is a challenge, but I'm going to try it. <laughs> Um, Nolanka Rival, uh, congratulations, you're the first winner, you'll receive a game code. Uh, the second winner is uh, Kemi, uh, with CH, Kemi. Uh, uh, the third winner is called Clisto, uh, Clisto, congratulations. And uh, the last uh, winner of this batch, at least, is called Dude. Dude. Dude, you won. Nice. Uh, so congratulations uh, to all four of you. We'll get the game codes out to you uh, as soon as possible. And uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, we'll give away more game codes uh, later on during the live stream. So that's always nice. Yeah. Uh, Shall we? How to participate? Oh. Uh, I think we just mentioned that already, right? <laughs> Where are you, dude? <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, all right. Uh, oh yeah, I saw this question before. Anthony Lee was asking. I think. It could be mistaken, but about specifically the um, uh, GT, the Titan, if it had Windows Hello. Uh, yes, I yes, think it so, does. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It has an uh, IR camera with Windows Hello, yes. There you go. Yeah. yeah. So that's nice. Uh, all right. Uh, yeah, so basically we covered the, uh, we can recap quickly, uh, we covered the uh, the Raider series mm -hmm. now. Uh, so here you have again uh, just a, a summary of the, uh, the, the, the main features. Um, and I think now we're going to move on then to the to the next model, the Titan. Yes, <laughs> the Beast. And I, I see a lot of people also a asking about it, so that's, yeah. uh, it's, it's time to move on. Uh, yeah. The, yeah. The, the yeah, keys on it. Definitely. So we're gonna we're gonna get to that as well. Um, <laughs> tell uh, tell the the people a little bit about the Titan. I mean, there's a lot of things that might be a bit similar. Uh, HX uh, again, also there the, the 230 watts that are not accurate anymore it's uh, no. 250 watts it's uh, 250 watts of total power yes yeah. exactly yeah yeah, um, yeah so we covered uh, a lot of uh, of the features already uh, with RGB I showed a little bit of uh, RGB uh, at, at the back um, yeah, yeah it's uh, so <laughs> yeah, yeah at, we'll at this, turn it at this part bit I'll, uh, I'll, I'll show it later again yeah um, so yes, we, we have uh, four slots of, uh, of DDR5. Um, we have four uh, M.2 slots for, for SSDs, um, one of which is uh, Gen 5. Someone already mentioned that. Uh, and the other three are, uh, are Gen 4. Um, yeah, and it uh, has something really special, so a mechanical <laughs> keyboard yeah. uh, in, uh, in a laptop. It, it's not, I, I have to say, it's not the first Titan no. laptop that I've seen that has a mechanical keyboard, but 
Yeah. The other one that I remember, this was, I think, during the 900 series. It had a, a, a dual 980 configuration, I think, in mm -hmm. SLI. And that one had like a full-size mechanical keyboard in there. And but when I say full-size, I don't mean like with a numpad because obviously it had that. Yeah. I mean full-size like in, uh, in in height. The switches. Uh, yeah, these were yeah. like full-size switches and MX uh, uh, keycaps on it. It was that was crazy already. Uh, this one doesn't have that, uh, but they are definitely mechanical. But they are indeed uh, special switches, which. We'll have a little bit more information about that in, in some later slides. Yeah. Uh, but 100% they are mechanical, yes. Yeah. Okay, so let me uh, explain a little bit more about the, the total power. So that, that both goes for the, the GE and the GT because we mentioned 250 watts in total. Yeah. Um, well, you can actually we, we get... Will do, we will, Jesse will do a bit of sound test on the, on the mechanical yeah, keyboard yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, yeah. GG well played tech. Yeah. Don't worry. <laughs> um, so... You will you will able to uh, to boost your uh, your CPU all the way up to 150 watts um, when it's necessary. So, like I explained before, usually uh, in, in in user scenarios, you either need a lot of CPU power or a lot of GPU power. Um, I'm just gonna see. Did I have a slide on this? Yeah, here we go. Oh yeah, this this one. Yes. Okay, nice. Yeah. Um, so that's uh, that's usually what uh, what you're looking for, and uh, in, in some cases, um, it's uh, it's it's both. But then usually you would still require more GPU power than CPU power. So um, yeah, we we can get all the way up to 150 watts on the on the CPU. We actually managed to get a little bit more, right, uh, Peter? It was, yeah. it was like 155 or something. Something like <laughs> that. Yeah. 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 So it's it's quite a lot. Yeah. But it's uh, and this is the thing, right? It's kind of dynamic. So that's why yeah. y you can you can say a value, but it's because it's dynamic and it, it does uh, it also works with uh, the the thermal uh, threshold and stuff like. So yeah. if the cooling allows it, it will try to boost up even higher. And that's mm -hmm. the thing about it. So, yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, and then the same goes for uh, for the GPU. So the GPU um, it has it has a base um, uh, clock or watts to uh, to the CPU for uh, 150 watts, hmm. um, but it can get all the way up to 175 watts. Uh, and the base for the CPU is 50 watts, but we can uh, we can manage to go uh, up to 75 watts of Total power yeah. at, at one given moment. Yeah. Uh, so and that's not peak. That's not peak performance or anything. That's that's what Sustained. we can just offer yeah. as as a total package. So you would have uh, 250 watts. Um, yeah, at your disposal. <laughs> which to, is crazy uh, for a laptop. Which let's, is, yeah. let's be honest here. Yeah, it really is. Really is. Um, so that's that's both for the GE and the GT uh, series. Um, in the GT series, obviously, we do have a lot more cooling, uh, which which is nicer to have in um, in these kind of situations. If you would really require 250 watts, like <laughs> a long a long time for you know for testing, um, <laughs> that's I, I, I guess that's basically where you're uh, where you're using it for uh, right now, at least. Yeah. Um, you had another slide. Yeah, wait. Uh, well, we were here, but uh, indeed, maybe the cooling. Um. Yeah, yeah. So uh, I mentioned this uh, this earlier as well. Uh, so the Titan has four fans: uh, two main fans and two uh, two extra fans for uh, for more airflow. Uh, has seven heat pipes. It has extra heat spreaders even on the uh, on the DC points. So where we uh, where we distribute the uh, the power. Um, yeah, and we just have a, a lot of airflow, um, even in desktops, you know, airflow is one of the, uh, the most important reasons uh, to, um, to, to have a, an optimal cooling performance. Yeah. And, and the same goes for, uh, for laptops. So that's why you also find, um, even in our uh, Katana series, um, yeah, a lot, of, a lot of spacing, a lot of... Uh, um, intakes for uh, for air and uh, yeah. it's only more in uh, in the GE and uh, obviously in the GT series. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, we did see some uh, some questions about uh, the phase change uh, thermal pads. Yeah. Um, yeah so th this this is a new uh, cooling technology, um, which um, 
um, which which is better over time. You know, we um, we are we are able to um, to slightly increase decrease power. It's not like you, you're not spiking um, ever so often. It's it's yeah. This this is a, just a, a way better thermal solution overall. Uh, what I indeed what I what I understand about it and, and what I've seen about it again I'm not an expert and and uh, yeah it's difficult to have all the, the 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 specific details on this but the the idea behind this indeed is uh, that it starts out as as like a solid uh, thermal pad yep. that's why it's called that yep. uh, but above a certain temperature so as the the hap laptop uh, heats up and as you you really push it uh, to the limit gaming or whatever. Um, it, it, it will start to uh, uh, become a bit more liquid or a bit more, um, yeah. Uh, let's see, so that's the phase changing part. It, it mm. goes from solid to a bit more, uh, yeah, liquid, and then it fills in any potential gaps or yep. uh, you know little little um, uneven surfaces of the uh, the cooler itself and uh, the the GPU or the CPU. Um, and in doing that, it, it makes even better contact. So it, it m kind of maximizes the, the cooling potential by doing so. Um, so yeah, basically that just means that uh, in, during the lifespan of the uh, laptop, uh, it will, and as you push it to its limits, where with traditional uh, thermal solutions, you know, it, it still it works quite well, but after a long, long time, uh, they will start to dry up a bit, and you know you might you may need to replace them. And I'm talking years, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and here, that probably shouldn't be the case uh, because it will just it will you know I, I'm not saying it will only get better over time, but especially in, in the first uh, long uh, gaming sessions, uh, that will actually help to improve the thermal performance as you push it uh, to the limit. The 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 first I don't know how long but yeah to, to certain temperature thresholds um, that will just enhance the thermal performance yeah yeah like you said we're filling the gaps so it's exactly uh, exactly right yeah uh, I've seen a lot of questions about uh, the power brick it's uh, yeah. uh, 330 watts exactly you, so you will, have it there I will show maybe, you maybe show it there you I'll go I'll show you um, yeah so with a beast of a laptop you need a beast of, uh, of a power <laughs> brick uh, that's 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 basically it um, so for other series, um, for example, for our uh, GS, uh, the 66 or 77, we have slimline uh, adapters, but they go up to 230 watts. And yeah, with 330 watts, we uh, we just need <laughs> a power brick. Big chunky boys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I mean, this is the same. In, in this case, it's the same for uh, uh, both the Raider and so the GE model and uh, the GT model as well. Yes. So they have the same uh, form factor, at least. I'm not sure if they are 100% the same uh, adapter. Could very well be. Yes, um, they are. Yeah. So yeah, these the, yeah, but these are these are serious adapters, like yeah. you know. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Three so, so at least in Germany, you're not allowed to use it on a train. <laughs> Ooh, that's uh, yeah, hmm. that's interesting. That's where battery uh, battery life comes into play. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. 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 Uh, but that's interesting indeed. Um, <coughs> You can keep your foot warm during winter. Yeah. yeah, probably. Yeah, it's quite comfortable probably to put it on there. Peter. Uh, yes. Shall I start uh, with yeah, this? Yeah, why not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you want. Maybe. Go ahead. <laughs> you're, you're you're ready to go on it, aren't I'm you? I'm ready. Like, yeah, can yeah, I, can yeah. I, can I can enough talking sure, about sure. it. Uh, yeah, let's yeah, yeah. let's just open it. All right. <laughs> okay. Be my guest. Yeah. So there's uh, yeah a couple screws. All the screws are the same length, uh, which is nice. So you don't uh, mix and match any mm. of the screws. Yeah. Uh, there's there's a little bit of prying. So you would it is recommended to to use a tool. Um, someone oh, also Chris, asked Chris, friggin' perfect timing there. How many M.2 slots are there in the new Titan? You're about to find I'll, out. I'll we already you. told you, but still, I'll you're about to you. find And RAM slots as well. Yeah. Can we upgrade the graphics card in a similar way? No, I don't think you can upgrade the graphics card. It's not an MXM module. No. Um, but, you know, you can upgrade definitely the, the uh, or yeah, well, upgrade or whatever, the uh, M.2 um, storage and uh, RAM also. I also saw somebody earlier, I can't scroll back in the chat, but still, uh, I remember somebody asking about, can you mix and match the uh, RAM? So, for example, if you're if you're trying to increase the, the RAM modules on it, um, I think 
I'm no, no expert, but I think you have to kind of uh, make sure that it's, um, for example, if, you, if you're doing dual channel uh, memory, you at least have to uh, make sure it's a similar uh, memory module in terms of capacity and speed. The yeah. brand may not be like the, the main issue, uh, as long as it's, uh, you know, uh, the same capacity. For example, if you have, I don't know, a, a 16 gig stick, you need another 16 gig stick. Uh, you, you can't just, uh, at least I think that you can't really mix it with, a, with an 8 gig stick uh, uh, because that wouldn't really work. But maybe I'm wrong. Um, that's kind of how it works with, a, with desktops as well. So I'm expecting on laptops, even though they are SO DIMMs, in other words, they're smaller modules. Um, but yeah, <laughs> I think it works the same way, roughly. Yeah, it, it does. Yeah. Um, so. If you're mixing um, mega threads or you're mixing uh, latency, uh, the dims will be clocked to the lowest slowest one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, um, but I think what is possible, and we see that in some uh, systems, is you can have either one module with big capacity or whatever. You know, one uh, uh, memory module. Mm -hmm. Or you can go dual channel, or even I, I, I maybe I've read this wrong, but in, in the GT you actually you have four slots, right? And yes, we have four slots. Four yes. memory, four yep. memory dim slots. Yep. Friggin' hell! All yep. right. Yeah. So yeah. Can I get this one? No, I don't. Okay. Oh, M Michael is saying you look like Jesse from Breaking Bad. <laughs> yeah, I noticed that one as well. <laughs> That's why I had to laugh. <laughs> cool. Um, yeah, so now I'm going to pry with my prying tool, so yeah. let's see how okay. that by, goes. By the way, guys, uh, just a little bit of a disclaimer. We do this during our live stream, so you don't have to, because if you can possibly avoid it, and if you're not sure what you're doing, we don't recommend you to do this. But if you're confident and you've got experience with uh, uh, you know, hardware, and especially laptops, because those are a bit more iffy, and you need to be really careful when opening them up yeah. uh, compared to desktops, um, so yeah, we want to show you this. Actually, you know, it's not like we're saying to you never do this because you know we, we also want to show you guys that it is possible and it's actually not <coughs> that hard to upgrade uh, or replace modules like memory modules and, and uh, SSDs, M.2 SSDs. <laughs> Sponsored by iFixit. Yeah, I'm not sure. <laughs> if it, I don't think it is an iFixit. It's it's one of the toolkits we uh, we, we uh, managed to snag, which we also. I think are you being used as a giveaway at some point? Uh, so we're, you're now live watching Jesse. Is this the first time you're doing this, by the way? With this one, yes. Ah, I, I have a GS model myself, ah. and I do open it ever so often because someone was asking this actually. All right. Um, to uh, to clean it, because yeah, obviously there's there's a lot of dust and things that uh, that will go in your uh, your air intakes. Mm -hmm. um, Yes, you are allowed to uh, to open it. Um, obviously, if your main board is fried or whatever, hmm. um, yeah, then then there's a warranty void. Um, but as long as uh, as you're as you're able to um, to open it up just for uh, for cleaning purposes and close it again, uh, that's uh, that shouldn't be an issue. Yeah, honestly, it's the same with things like graphics cards. I mean, you, you are allowed to do, you know, maintenance work on it yourself. Obviously, if you buy the product, it's yours. Yeah. Um, and, and doing work on it doesn't necessarily instantly void the warranty. That's not how it works. Uh, but that does mean that if, uh, for example, there's like these stickers like factory seal or whatever they say, uh, if they are uh, pierced or, you know, the, uh, when you get an RMA or you send it in for RMA at, at any point, um, our RMA department is going to examine it indeed and see if there's any damage that was caused by opening it up by the user. Um, and there's, a, of course, an increased likelihood if you're going to mess around in the system yourself. Um, again, most of you, if, you, if, you, if you're familiar with the hardware and, and you know what you're doing, then you should be fine, probably. Uh, but if, for, for whatever reason, you, you accidentally damage it, um, you know, just, I don't know, hitting it with the screwdriver the wrong way or you spill something over it, it doesn't matter. Uh, yeah, I mean, that, that can uh, potentially void your warranty. So it is always kind of like a risk. Uh, so we don't recommend you to do it just, you know, without any reason, uh, just, just for curiosity reasons, even though you're, you're at liberty to do it, obviously. But yeah, if you're going to do it, probably better do it with a purpose like upgrading. Yeah. So now I'm at the exhaust fence, and there's where the 
uh, chassis gets a little bit thinner, so that's ah. always a tricky part. <laughs> but we should manage to uh, to get it open. <laughs> Prying open the laptop with an uh, using an M.2 SSD. Ah, <laughs> that's probably going to be difficult, to be fair, because M.2s, you know, again, they're they're like a PCB as well, so they're not that thin. They're quite thin, but not that thin. So I'm nearly there. <laughs> what about taking out the factory SSDs for another larger capacity version? I mean, the same thing applies, I guess. Uh, dungeon crawler gaming, or uh, dungeon crawling gaming. Um, if you if you do it uh, the right way and you don't cause any damage, you're fine. You know, you're you're at liberty to do that. But uh, you need to make <laughs> sure you know what you're doing. And um, if you do cause damage while doing it. That's what's referred, commonly referred to as user, uh, user damage uh, or user caused damage. Uh, in other words, um, you cause that damage if you do it. Uh, and that's something that is not, uh, I think that's quite obvious, uh, that's not covered by warranty. Because we cannot really be held responsible for what, what you know, a gamer does with this laptop um, on the inside of it. Uh, and if, if they damage it accidentally, that's bad that's really sad but that's something that really um yeah it's hard to cover by warranty because that would just raise the cost of everything by such a, a significant amount that we'd, we'd have to start charging a, a whole lot more for for our product as well to, just to cover those costs so it doesn't make sense yeah um and i think this is like a, a, a you know how in general most brands uh, if not all brands uh cover it that way uh, you know if you just use the laptop as intended that's fine and you can you can upgrade it you can maintain it you can open it up to to you know take out dust if you feel it, it has to be done um, and just you know removing things like this just uh, you know removing the, the lid for example that usually is not that big of a deal um, because yeah there's not a whole lot you can you can do there but if you start removing other components if you go further in like removing the cooling and stuff you better know what you're doing because you you can really easily damage something if you if you're not careful. I did it. Ah, there you go. <laughs> Look at how proud he is. <laughs> I did it. I did it. <laughs> yes. I mean, every chassis has uh, you know slightly different yes. clips and yep. screws and everything, so yep. it's always uh, it's a bit iffy. Uh, a bit, bit iffy. Uh, bit finding it's, it's, out. it's nice to find out how every other chassis works. Yeah. Um, you want to try to use the yeah. special camera? Sure, sure, sure. Yeah. Okay, uh, so guys, again, this is uh, we've we've dealt with this before. The Droid Cam, the dreaded Droid Cam. Uh, it used to work well, um, and it it still does sometimes. But we're gonna have to see if it works now. Uh, let's see if it wants to work. Uh, it's not showing up on my screen. Mm. Because you, I've got uh, it here. Can you reboot the app? I'll, I'll do the same. Hmm. If we can get it to work, because that, I mean, that does give the, the, the best um, quality. Then I can show everything in detail, exactly. otherwise I'll have yeah. to hold it up. <coughs> yes, all right, let's, let's use it while it's working. Here we go. <laughs> ah, it's oh, already no, frozen. It all right, we're gonna have to <laughs> <laughs> well, that escalated quickly. Let's try oh, it again, no. let's try it one more one time. One more time, one more time. Oh, 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 it just came back. Here we go. Is it working? Yeah, nice. For now, for now. Okay. Um, so below this shield, uh, those are your four um, memory slots. You can just remove it like that. Uh, so you have two banks in this one, two banks on the uh, on the other side. Um, so that's that's basically easy uh, flip in flip out uh, let me see here yeah easy flip in flip out um, here's where you get four uh, uh, yeah. um, m.2 slots that's clearly indicated there yeah so one two three and then on the other side is four um, this is the thermal solution so um, this is the CPU side uh, CPU, uh, the the main fan, the second fan for uh, for the exhaust fan, uh, and it's the same for the GPU and the uh, the power heat spreader with the main fan and the second fan. 
I think now you can also clearly see why there's no uh, connectors in the back of that laptop, right? Yes. That's, it's all thermal um, yes. module so there. I'm standing right now. Um, yeah. There's no heatsink for the SSDs, Anthony is asking. No. Uh, I'm not sure it's, if there's anything really necessary. On, the, on the underside, because it does say like SSD pad. I'm not sure, maybe there's a thermal pad between the, uh, the motherboard and the SSD, but other than that, no. Um, no. It doesn't look like it. No, no. Those, those chips, I mean, they, um, they do warm up, but it's, it's not nothing compared to <laughs> like uh, CPU, GPU or chipset. Um, but the chipset itself, again, it's, it, 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 doesn't, it doesn't require that much cooling. It's, no. This is really the tooling that you need yeah. for laptops. Um, so yeah, that's the uh, that's the uh, the inside of, uh, can of you, our can Titan Can you just series. quickly show because I mean, there's uh, so somebody also saying that hey, you know, the, the, that's a lot of RAM slots indeed. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, so there's four of them, right? Yeah. And only two of them are filled, well, at least on this model. Um, yes. So this this is uh, like you mentioned. This is a, a sample that uh, that yeah. we use. Yeah. Um, yeah. So there there are four slots. So two and two in the back again. Um, and the same goes for the uh, M.2 SSD. So usually you, you would have maybe one or two of them filled. Uh, we have three times 500 uh, and um, 512 gigs. Don't ask me why, it's, that's just how we got it. <laughs> uh -huh. um, but yeah, it will, uh, it will clearly state uh, which one of the slots is the, uh, the Gen 5 version and the rest is clearly stated as a Gen 4.4, as you can see right here. Mm. Yeah. Well, I was saying, yeah, the PCH is not getting any cooling. Uh, I guess that's the, uh, the thing between the, the, the shiny chip in between the, uh, the, the RAM modules. It's the chipset, yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah in this case, it's, uh, it's, it's not necessary. Uh, like I mentioned, everything is, uh, is thoroughly tested, and yeah. uh, we tested it ourselves uh, as well. And, uh, um, this is where we need the cooling. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's exactly. that's that's simply the answer. Yeah. Um, and yeah, again, it's it, it's not very easy to get um, these heat sinks over to to the chipsets. <laughs> and if it's not necessary, yeah, why uh, would you try just to solve an issue that's not there? So Indiana Roy is asking, how do you test for airflow? I mean, we've got, you know, in, in our headquarters, there are, uh, you know, very advanced uh, testing facilities. Um, maybe, uh, like I think it was about two years, two years, three years ago, maybe we uh, did a tour of our HQ uh, and we saw we were allowed to, uh, to film some testing uh, facilities there. Not all of them, of course. Um, but so that was really cool and some of those are you know it's not like a wind tunnel I don't think but there's like there's computer uh, simulation programs and there's actual real-world testing involved as well so um, yeah there's th there's a whole lot of testing going on uh, but I'm not I mean that's maybe a cool idea for the future indeed when when we're I mean it's been a, quite a while since we were in uh, in our headquarters mm. because of the whole COVID thing and at the moment actually uh, in Taiwan there's a there's a hell of a lot of COVID going around unfortunately uh, but if we if we get to go there again that might be a really cool idea to see if we can uh, uh, get some footage of uh, of some more testing <coughs> um, yeah, testing equipment and uh, uh, testing methodology that's being used. Yeah. Um, can you... Is it easy to different? open for cleaning out dust? I mean, if you, if you already open it like this, I think you can already get a lot of dust out. But what you have to be careful about is, for example, those uh, big, f well, the two main fans, let's say. Uh, that's probably one of the places where g dust will start to gather or if you have things like cats, you know, pets, uh, hairs of, of those animals. Um, what will happen is, and what you can do is if you open it up like this, you can, you know, with a vacuum cleaner and, and, you know, if you're careful, you can probably get a lot of that out of there already. But what you have to do is you have to keep your, when you're doing it, you have to keep your finger gently on one of the fans to uh, avoid it from spinning. Uh, and that's very simple because uh, the reason for that is if you would, for example, just put a vacuum cleaner pretty much like on top of that fan, um, the, the way that the fan is shaped would, uh, would make it spin because of the airflow generated, like the suction uh, airflow generated by the, uh, by the vacuum cleaner. And uh, 
because we don't know how fast that vacuum cleaner, how powerful that, that suction is, it can uh, happen that it will make the fan start faster than it was intended to because it's not being powered. It's, you know, it's just um, uh, reacting to the, to the airflow generated by the vacuum cleaner. So if you're going to do that, always uh, uh, keep your one finger on the fan to stop it from spinning while you're uh, gently and carefully uh, going over it with a vacuum cleaner to, to you know, take the dust out. Yeah. Um. Would you mind switching to a different camera? <laughs> yeah, 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 sure. That's okay, cool. For example. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> um, yep. I'm uh, gonna put it back. Yeah. Again. Sure. Uh, in uh, the meantime, I will uh, I will draw some more winners. Yeah. If that's Maybe. okay with you guys, yeah. but I'm gonna assume that you're all right with that. Yeah. I've seen some uh, some comments again about the chipset. Again, yeah. If you want to to have a thermal pad on it, that's fine. Um, usually, you find. Uh, can, can you show the other side of the of the the cover that you took off? Because there's yeah. there's it's part plastic, but also part metal, right? Yeah. So is there a part of that metal that maybe uh, also connects to it partially to that uh, chipset or covers any or the SSDs, for example? Well, maybe. Let me see. Because mm. I wouldn't be surprised if there's some kind of connection there for some passive, a little bit of passive cooling as well. Yeah. So it's maybe right here. What series it, is this laptop? This is the GC77, the oh. Titan uh, series. It does have a gap. It's it's a little bit difficult to see, but um, can you maybe hold the inside of the of the cover up to the camera a little yeah. bit so we can see yeah. some of this stuff? So right yeah. right right where my finger is, that that's somewhere right there. Yeah, that's yeah. where the, the chipset would be. Yeah. Um, so yes, you you can mm. you can put a, a thermal pad there. Um, but again, it's not it's not necessary. That's the thing, right? I wouldn't I wouldn't start adding you know cooling where if it's not there from uh, the factory from 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 us then mm -hmm. you can assume it's not necessary yeah um and adding it can it could help but it can also make things worse because you know these things aren't designed with um y you know with ideas in mind to add additional cooling or thermal pads so it could very well be that if you're going to add that uh, it's not going to close uh, properly anymore, for example, because you know space is very limited in these laptops. Yeah. Uh, so everything is kind of designed to fit in exactly uh, right, and there's usually not a whole lot of space to add more stuff. This uh, whole section, by the way, that's aluminum. There you go. Yeah. So, so the this, whole grid. this whole, whole yeah. the whole grill is aluminum. Yeah. 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 So. <laughs> Let's right. uh, put it back. Yes. Um, so this is uh, this is also an if you want the shield. <laughs> I really right. have to look at this carefully. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Take your time. Take your time. In the meantime, I'm gonna draw uh, draw some more winners, guys. So you can still part still participate uh, to win game uh, key game codes of uh, Rainbow Six Extraction. Also, the game we're gonna be playing a little bit later on on the very laptop that Jesse is putting back together as well. So I uh, hope he does a good job. Otherwise. <laughs> One of us is screwed. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, so you can go to msi.com slash two slash insider or uh, at least on Twitch and YouTube in the chat. There's a link being shared by our bot uh, every five minutes, I believe, uh, with a Gleam link. Gleam is the system we're using. It's like a, um, yeah, a, a um, lucky draw type of system, uh, randomized uh, drawing. Uh, it will ask you to perform a couple of actions. Uh, the more actions you perform, the more points you uh, you add to your tally, and the more points you have, the better your chance of winning. Because again, it's like a random draw. Um, so yeah, simple as that. Um, let's see. Let's draw a few winners. This one is really tricky, though. <laughs> <laughs> is it, it's more difficult than it looks, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it it has these. Super tiny cradles. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Yeah. Can you can you show that? You think? Uh, we're we're in the close-up view again because you when you no, pull it no, off, you said it. like this little shield. Uh, you you pull it off. It was quite easy. Yeah. So if you pull it off, it's really easy. But uh, now it's it, it is too too tiny to uh, to show. I'm afraid. Putting it back together is always uh, a bit more. Uh, it's challenging. Requires a bit more attention. Yeah. All right. Um, and let's see. So 
we have three, I think, three, yeah, three more winners. Yeah, already three more winners. And then uh, later on during the live stream, we'll have a few more. Um, so we'll have three, three winners. Uh, the first one is called uh, Tradamus. Tradamus, congratulations. Also, you win a, uh, key, a game key for uh, Rainbow Six Extraction. Uh, Grim Razor is the uh, second winner for this batch. And then the last one is... Oh, crap. This one is difficult to pronounce, <laughs> but I'm going to try. Well, maybe it's actually easy. easy. Uh, it depends. <laughs> Uh, Nyang Nyang Yi. Uh, that's, uh, that's pretty much what I can make out of it. Uh, Nyang Nyang Yi. Uh, congratulations, you also get a, a key. And I uh, hope you guys have fun with it. That's always uh, the challenging part when, of the live stream when uh, you get these names, and some of them are, you know, <laughs> quite difficult to pronounce. <laughs> For us. Ah, yes. For, For us, us indeed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. These are beautiful. I'm still running the Dominator. Yeah, those are really cool as well, the Dominator. I remember those. Uh, hopefully, I don't ever have to open my laptop. Yeah, I also hope you don't have to. Uh, and again, you know, this is something that we, we often open up hardware on this live stream. And I always say, you know, we do this so you don't have to. But we kind of want to show you guys what's inside, if, if it's at all possible, uh, to, to offer you something, you know, like, like a unique perspective. Uh, but in this case, actually, we also wanted to show you guys with the goal of uh, kind of showing you guys that it's actually not that hard in this case to uh, use the, the additional slots that these platforms offer. So if you wanted to add more storage or you wanted to add more uh, RAM memory or replace it, uh, then that's possible. Yeah. And um, I think the same goes for uh, yeah all of our laptops, especially if you look into the... Uh, Katana series, Pulse, uh, Vector, Raider. Yeah. Um, they're not that difficult to to open up. No. It's just Again, we don't recommend it if you don't feel comfortable or if you don't know right. what you're doing. Right. Um, <laughs> so always make sure that you know either you. And I think there's a lot of tutorials that you can find yes. if you really want to yes. look into it on on YouTube and stuff. I all, I used to do this as well. That's incredibly helpful. Um, but again, if if you don't feel comfortable doing it you know better ask a friend or you know ask somebody to help you out because you just want if you buy one of these things and you damage it you know that's that's always bad you're yeah. going to regret it patience is required <laughs> oh yeah and don't be in a rush that's a, yeah. yeah that's a really good point as well yeah. if you're in yeah. a rush uh, or uh, and don't get frustrated easily either mm -hmm. just you know be calm put on some mozart i don't know <laughs> um <laughs> But yeah, be patient. Uh, never try to force anything on these laptops because if you if you feel like you're forcing something, you're probably doing it wrong. Um, yeah, and just just be sure that you you know what you're doing. Uh, oof, what CPU and GPU frequency are maintained on AAA games by these laptops? That's a very specific question, um, and so it, it that depends on too many things. I don't think I can provide you a good answer on that one. Uh, it depends on on the configuration of the laptop. It depends on the game itself. Uh, so there's there's too many variables. Yes. But uh, uh, higher than average, I think, is the best answer I can give you because these are like the high performance laptops. Yeah. I think it uh, it might be interesting to um, um, to look at specific uh, streamers or benchmarkers or yeah. at least yeah. content creators that that really deep dive these yeah. kind of statistics. Yeah, and maybe I, I don't have any any yeah. benchmark because I saw somebody asking for it as well. I don't have any benchmarks prepared for you today. Uh, but if you if you look for them, you can probably find a lot of uh, good tech channels. They did a review of either the Titan or maybe the Raider. I'm not sure the Raider. I saw some reviews of the GT77 already, the Titan. So those are around. So you can you can see uh, what kind of performance uh, it offers over uh, the, the past generation, for example, or comparable models from uh, the previous generation. And, and I have to say, it's pretty damn impressive. Yeah. Always wear gloves when you open a computer after a few years. <laughs> Is that uh, for uh, hygiene reasons, mostly? Or? Yeah, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows what they Maybe. suck in, in in a couple of years' time, right? Right, right. Uh. La, la, la. Nearly done. Yeah. Ah, flame sake. You know, cut up some slack. Bro's sweating while opening a PC. Come <laughs> on, bro. Well, he doesn't do this on a, on a daily basis, right? This is not his, his, his day job to be opening uh, PCs. <laughs> done. There you go. 
Didn't even break a sweat. Right. <laughs> Do you need a drink? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, that's uh, you, you, you have no idea the amount of lights uh, that are shining on us uh, from, from the room here, from the studio. So uh, it is, uh, it's, it's not like you're just sitting around uh, at, at a desk. Um, when will the GT77 launch? I think it already launched, but uh, availability may differ per region. Uh, really depends on when it, you know, when it ships out, uh, when it arrives in your region. Yeah. Um, we can we can go back to uh, some slides as well. Oh, Just, all right. We have uh, we yeah. Have those. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, let's see, we covered that. Yeah, so this is something somebody was asking about before with the MUX switch, uh, and I think this kind of explains it as well. Uh, in, um, in MSI Center, the, the software that we have uh, available on these laptops, you, you actually have, you can select between discrete graphics mode, which is basically just always make sure that your uh, most powerful graphics card is, is doing the heavy lifting and is, uh, is on. That's not the most power efficient option. So if you want to work on battery, for example, on, on a train, whatever, and, and you know, you're not plugged into the power grid, um, you probably want to keep it on MS hybrid graphics mode. That's the NVIDIA Optimus uh, mode. So basically the hybrid mode. So it can, the laptop can decide for itself, like, okay, I can use either the IGP, so the integrated uh, uh, graphics chip on the, uh, on the, the CPU, which is more power efficient than, um, than the dedicated uh, discrete graphics card, uh, or it can dynamically switch to the, to the discrete graphics card if it, if it thinks it's needed. Um, yeah, so there's, there's a lot of th stuff you can do through that. Um, yeah, also something, uh, we, we kind of touched on it before, but I still want to mention it again, uh, because again, it's like when PCIe Gen 5 uh, SSDs do become available, uh, this is going to be really interesting. Also combined with things like direct storage, which again, we, there, it's not here yet, but it's a really exciting concept. Uh, and once we start seeing it in big games, uh, mm -hmm. having faster SSDs probably is going to make a whole lot more sense as well than it does now, at least for gaming. Um, so then really this kind of stuff and, and having a, a, the ability to, to uh, include a Gen 5 SSD in your laptop is probably going to be a big deal uh, and you're, you're going to notice it. Uh, so that's a really nice benefit to have. Now then, I think this is one of the topics that a lot of people were asking about, right? So let's get to it. Um, and I think a lot of people were wondering, well, if, what is it? Is it Cherry mix red, brown, blue, what is it? Um, it's it's uh, not any of those, right? Yeah, exactly. So in this case, we we do use a Cherry MX switches um, with obviously the perky RGB and everything, but these are ultra low um, Cherry MX switches, and there's only one version. Um, we can show you. We or can show try. you. Yes. We can try and show you. Uh, Oh. Yeah, this is this is like the the anatomy of the or how the switch looks if from the side view basically. Yeah. And if you want to put this into perspective when it comes to you know regular sized as in you know the, the height of the regular sized switches or even what we consider to be low profile when it comes to keyboard for example, this is the comparison. Mm -hmm. So on the left side you have this is that's the standard MX uh, uh, size. Um, yeah, you would find that those on your cherry red. Yeah, 18 yeah. and a half millimeters. Yeah. There, and then in the middle you have the, 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 what we normally would consider a low profile switch mm -hmm. uh, on keyboards, for example, uh, like, you know, separate keyboards like our, um, uh, kind of like our GK50 low profile keyboard that we have. Uh, that's going to be similar to the MX low profile switch in terms of uh, height. <coughs> so that's then 11.9 millimeters, already quite a bit lower. And then you have the ultra low profile switch. And uh, I think now, seeing this in, per in perspective, you can kind of understand why they call it the ultra low profile switch. That comparison is just, um, yeah. I mean, it's, it's tiny in terms of uh, the profile it has, right? Yeah, yeah, it's very tiny. But still, if you type on it, I'm, I'm not sure if you can Yeah, hear because it. I think that's what people are asking now, right? Like, yeah. hey, uh, so that, okay, all right, so it's not blue, it's not red, but the, like, what is it clicky? Is it linear? Is it, what is it? So, Jesse, take it away. Maybe yeah. you want to, uh, maybe in the detailed view as well. I so mean, you okay, I'll, I'll just, I'll, I'll put this, uh, <laughs> this away. This is, this is the GE, so that has yeah. a, 
conventional uh, you keyboard. You need to lean close, by the way, because then Jesse is going to use his lapel mic on his that's you know on him I'm, to, I'm, to, to give you. I'm going to try. Sound. Exactly. I'm going to try. Okay, so th yeah, this this is the regular the regular keyboard. Yeah. Can you guys Ho hear hopefully, that? Hopefully, hopefully it captured it. Yeah. Um, let me put this right here. I'll uh, close the lid for now. Mm -hmm. <coughs> and then uh, just lean close. And then we, yeah, maybe, maybe yeah, I can fine. just do, do yep. it like that. Perfect. Um, these are the, the switches. If you really, really lean close, uh, you, can, you can actually hear the spring. But if you're a little bit far, far from it, so like in a regular position, you, you would just hear the clicky noise. Um, if I would compare it to, you know, a, a regular keyboard, um, my feeling is that it would be slightly towards brown, cherry brown keys. But I mean, that's that's my personal uh, experience. Maybe someone else would would define yeah. it as blue or red. So yeah. saltiest, yeah. maltiest was asking, how do, what does the travel on the keys feel like? So does it have a lot of travel or? No, it's pretty instant. Right, because it's ultra low, so there's <laughs> yeah, hardly yeah, yeah. any travel possible. You wouldn't uh, expect there to be, but it, it, yeah. they can. It's like it, it can be like trickery, right? They can make it feel maybe like a bit more than it actually is. But yeah, mm -hmm. you wouldn't expect a lot of travel from from uh, the ultra low profile key, indeed. Um, no, exactly. Hot swappable? I I don't think so, uh, Edwin. Um, that it, I mean, it's not like uh, these are uh, standard MX keycaps anyway. So you're you're probably gonna have, you know be hard pressed to find the exact keycaps you need for this. Um, maybe they'll become available at some point, but with laptops, this is already this is always a bit iffy um, because usually they're they're actually you know uh, not quite as standardized as uh, the regular keyboard uh, options. Yeah. So someone mentioned uh, there's a big trackpad. That's mm, that's yeah. correct. It's uh, it's very nice to use. It's it's really it's silky smooth. So it it it, it feels like glass. Yeah. Um, and next to it is a fingerprint scanner uh, for extra security if you uh, if you would want to use that. Yeah. Um, but again, you can also uh, use software to uh, to disable the the trackpad. Um, so w when you, when you're gaming or typing, you you're not uh, using the, the mouse option. In extreme use, you feel the heat on your fingers. How about in previous versions? I I can't say I've tried it, but I mean, we're about to, I think. But uh, I did. I do remember one of the reviewers, I think it was Jared's tech, uh, who tested the Titan as well uh, with the i9 uh, inside. So that's like the top configuration. And I believe he said something along the lines of um, it, it didn't really feel that hot to the touch, even, even after a long time of gaming. Uh, so... Yeah, um, I think this th this has a really good thermal solution, which uh, which does an amazing job. Yeah, this 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 just has an insane uh, thermal solution. Yeah, um, you know, in in certain scenarios, um, a CPU can go up to uh, ninety nine degrees. Um, it really depends on how how we predefine something. So usually it's ninety five uh, degrees, but certain cases it can go up to 99 degrees and then uh, obviously in that area uh, it might be warmer um, but it, it shouldn't it shouldn't ever be in your working area um, so yeah I mean I've I've used a lot of gaming uh, laptops over the years and haven't uh, uh, ever experienced anything like okay I'm burning my fingers or no. something well, I mean, so. I, I I know what you mean. Like some some gaming laptops I've tried in the past, uh, whether it be MSI or other brands. But yeah, some some of them, and I, it's mostly like the thinner ones tend to have that because they sure. they have less space for thermals. Yes. So there, some of them actually use the uh, kind of passively use the chassis itself as a, a way of you know dis dissipating some heat as well. Um, and yeah, then in, in some places, obviously they try to avoid the like the keyboard and, and the main places that you would be likely to, to have your fingers. But like closer to the top or, or on the rear or something, you know, where you're, you're not as likely to have your fingers. Those can get, sometimes get a bit hot, yeah. But um, in this case, especially the, this laptop like this, um, no, it's, uh, it's, it's really good. I'm just fiddling around with the... Uh, ah. <laughs> 
with the Steel Series tooling for the for the RGB colors. Oh right, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Just for the fun. That RGB is sick, sick as. I heard Linus say they have 50 million click lifetime, uh, but often keys like the space bar go first. What would be replacement swap out policy for MSI? Oof. Uh, well, if you have, I don't know, <laughs> you know if, you, if you manage to wear out one of these things within the warranty period, that's going to be quite an achievement. Yeah. Because, you know, mechanical keys, as opposed to the, uh, the, 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 the other keys, like on, uh, for example, I'm not sure, like on um, the SteelSeries keyboard, for example, on uh, the, the Raider, uh, which is, what is that? Um, is that membrane? Uh, yes, yes, it is. Yeah. Uh, you know, the, they, they are designed to be more durable on mm. the, on, on the uh, Titan anyway, the, the, the mechanical ones. So, yeah. Oh, you mean post warranty? Uh, I don't know. I mean, it's maybe it's not impossible because it's like you know it's a Cherry uh, uh, MX key, so it's it's kind of standardized in a way. But I wouldn't be able to tell you, and I'm not sure if Jesse has the answer to that as well. Uh, usually, as long as uh, spare parts last, we we are able to uh, mm. to service the laptop even. Um, uh, you know, when, when warranty is extended, yeah. um, you know, yeah, as long as these uh, these switches are made and the, and the entire uh, keyboard layout is made, um, yeah, we can service it for five or ten years. Um, but sometimes a product uh, can um, can uh, can be changed. You know, maybe maybe we will get ultra ultra <laughs> low uh, <laughs> low switches, uh, and and these ones uh, are not made anymore. And then obviously, yeah. Uh, um, we're not a able to, story. to it. Yeah. yeah. All right, enough talk. I think it's time for some gaming. What do you think? Yeah, sure. Yeah? Yeah. I, uh, right. I set some nice colors, so uh, I'll, uh, I'll j just give you the pleasure of, uh, of using uh, the Titan. Swiggity mm. swooty, yeah. I'm coming for that booty. Uh, all right, and then you okay. can, uh, you're going to connect up the, uh, yeah. the Raider, right? Yeah. Yeah. I'll just connect this up. All right. Let's see. And then don't don't forget the uh, where is it? Oh, the capture. Here yeah. we go. Yeah. Great. Actually, I might be able to plug that in for you because it's mm -hmm. in the, it's, it's in the, the rig. Yeah. There we go. And the brig. <laughs> All right, guys. There it is. I'm getting a Titan. Uh, now, I first have to make a bit of space here on the desk, so uh -oh. uh, <laughs> give me a second, because I've got like a tiny desk uh, compared to what I would, you know, normally have. Um, and this Let's is see. where the director's PC is located, so I'm trying to control the stream here and uh, avoid I, destroying it. I have to hook this up as well. <laughs> yeah. Uh, do I have enough space? Oh, yeah, that's enough. All right, let's see. Okay. Damn. This is sweet. Uh, all right, so we're going to be trying at least to uh, play Rainbow Six Extraction. Um, you've never played the game before, right? This is the first time I'm uh, going to boot it up. <laughs> right. Okay. So, so I'm, uh, you're in. You're going to be in for a, a bit of a surprise then. <laughs> okay. Okay. I do know my fine. shooters, but uh, that's fine. <laughs> Tom Clancy is uh, something else. We're going to be playing it on hard mode as well because oh, wow. we actually uh, don't have audio uh, ourselves because we're going oh, to be yes, playing exactly. the audio through the live stream. So you guys actually get to hear everything. We don't. Yeah. Uh, the things we, we do for you guys, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so I've got it in front of me. Um, don't mind uh, the cord, guys. Yeah. <laughs> What I can actually do here as well is, um, let's see. Hello. I'm going to have to see if we already have, oh, there we go. So I think this is uh, Jesse's laptop you're looking at right now. Yeah. Just maybe in the main, meantime, you can also show, and I'm going to just gonna put the specs uh, down here as well. Uh, maybe you can show, um, yeah, exactly, the, the Steel Series engine there as well with uh, how to, um, use and uh, control mm -hmm. the, the uh, uh, RGB. Yeah, sure. Um, and yeah, so our yeah. RGB, so both the, the light bar and the front, yeah, this, this is not very smart, but still. <laughs> can you, can you, 
see this, we have the Mystic Light bar right here. So the big RGB bar uh, together with the, um, the keyboard. You can um, alter the RGB through uh, the Steel Series engine. So it's, uh, it's, not, uh, um, it's not MSI software, it's, it's together with, uh, with Steel we have, uh, we've developed this. And uh, uh, there's, there's a lot of uh, predefined options. Yeah, uh, because I, I see the question here indeed by uh, Bush Nakam uh, is asking, MSI Center can't control the RGB. In this case, I think they, they opted to uh, kind of keep it in one uh, in one software. Otherwise, yeah. it, it can become maybe confusing. Like, well, you can you can control some parts through the MSI software and some parts uh, through the SteelSeries uh, hardware. Uh, so software, sorry. Uh, because of the uh, the, the keyboard um, on the uh, GE Raider is uh, you know is is made in uh, cooperation with SteelSeries, um, so it, it kind of makes sense to make sure it, it uh, works with their ecosystem um, primarily. And then you know to then say, all right, well the keyboard works. You can control through the SteelSeries software, but for the Aurora uh, light bar, you actually have to go to MSI Center. Uh, in terms of user experience, we, we thought it probably is better that you can do it from one place. So I think that's yep. the reasoning behind why both are indeed in the uh, steel series. And it's yep. it's like, you know, it's a, a partnership in, in, in that regard. So, um, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Um, so yeah, the, like I mentioned, these are all predefined. Um, you can also, you know, do everything uh, with, uh, oh yeah, you can install extra apps here. <laughs> um, in your library, you can uh, scan, scan for games, obviously, or just manually add a game. And once you are booting up a specific game, you can also just um, uh, change the, uh, the RGB lighting uh, according to the game you play. If you play a FPS game, you may want to, you know, uh, change your WASD or, uh, if, if you're playing an MMO, maybe you like uh, more colors. Um, if you ask me, I just ev turn everything to purple. I like purple. Oh, all right. Um, yeah. But uh, yeah, you can you can just do everything uh, either on the fly or uh, connected to to a specific game uh, that you like. Um, and here is MSI Center. While you guys are playing, could you give us your thoughts on this? Do you mean? Um as we are experiencing it, you mean just basically uh, tell you our experience and, and uh, how we feel uh, that it that it plays. Because yeah. I, there's two different ones in it. I think, um, and that's maybe significant. My uh, on the Titan, I have the full HD, so the 1080p, 360 hertz panel. Yeah. Uh, and on uh, the the laptop uh, Jesse is using the the Raider GE seventy seven HX, that one has the four K one twenty hertz uh, monitor indeed. But the thing that we kind of still have to figure out is is Jesse going to run everything at four K uh, in the game, or is he going to scale down to, for example, fourteen forty p, and uh, or maybe uh, even full HD because the, the live stream is, uh, unfortunately, we cannot stream uh, above full HD. So in terms of what you guys are seeing, that's gonna be full HD no matter what. Uh, but yeah, I mean, we can, maybe you can even switch between the resolutions to kind of show and, and tell everybody the performance that you uh, are experiencing uh, later on as well. Yeah, I mean, I'll just, uh, I'll boot up the game. Um, but, I don't think the resolution will have <laughs> a lot of effect no. um, because because we are limited to the the 124 of, um, yeah the 120 hertz uh, yeah. refresh rate. So in terms of the hertz, indeed, it won't matter much. But of course, the FPS, um, unless you've got uh, G-Sync or V-Sync uh, activated. Um, but yeah, the, the FPS can go beyond that. Um, but still, indeed, you're, you are kind of limited to 120 hertz, which is still pretty nice uh, in most cases. Yeah. Um, I also see a question, is there a reason that MSI Center support is limited to 11th gen uh, laptops and above? Uh, correct me if I'm wrong here, Jesse, but I think that uh, before that, um, the, the software was called Dragon Center. That's correct. So that's a very simple reason. So yeah. we, the, the software kind of evolved uh, along the way, and you kind of have to do that from one generation, because if, you, if you're going to mix it within a generation, it's going to be confusing. So uh, 
I think when the 11th gen came out, we also had the uh, new software ready, which is called MSI Center. So simply speaking, we just switched to that. And uh, laptops prior to that generation, they also have software. It's quite similar actually, um, but it's like uh, an older version, uh, which is called Dragon Center. Is the MUX switch on? I have no idea, actually. Yeah, for now it is. Probably, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We basically took it out of the box. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, yeah. We didn't really change anything on no. it. <laughs> um, do you, do you want to do a giveaway, Peter? Uh, always, but let me check something. Uh, and you have to help me set this up because I, I have no clue. Oh, that, yeah, yeah, no problem, no problem. What I'll do is uh, I'll also start the game. Um, mm -mm -mm, and then I'll uh, throw you an invite. Basically, mm -hmm. all you have to do then is, you know, accept the invite and I'll um, I'll yep. take care of the rest. Yeah. You might you may have to click ready, at, you know, on some things and select yep. a character, but don't worry about it. Um, yeah, in the meantime, oh, wow, I'm just juggling mice here. Uh, <laughs> I'm also going to do another giveaway. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, I'll do one. Oh, actually, I threw the keyboard to the side here, so that's <laughs> that doesn't make it easier for me. All right, uh, one more. Yeah, okay. So we have one more uh, winner, and actually, we I think we're gonna do two more after this uh, for this live stream. But I'm gonna spread them out a little bit. Uh, but our next winner is called Dino Crow 6. Dino Crow 6. So congratulations, Dino Crow 6. You also get a, a copy of a Rainbow Six Extraction, the game we're about to play. Um, let me see. Uh, yeah, here I'm just uh, showing you that we are using a 3080 Ti on 4K, 120 hertz. I mean, I'm just I'm just sticking to the the basic uh, settings because I have no clue what. Uh, yeah. But you are running 4K. Do. Yes. So yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, you are pushing it to the max. Let's say. Yeah. For Which I mean, in your configuration, you have a, a, an i9 12900HX. No. Right. Oh yes. No. Yes. Yeah. You Mi do, actually. Mine does. Mine yeah, does. Yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah. Exactly. Yours does. <laughs> thank you. Yeah. yeah uh, thank you. Uh, yeah. Mine has the i7 actually, but uh, yeah. it should still be more than enough. Yeah. Uh, and yours also has the uh, RTX 3080 Ti with 16 gigs of memory. Yeah. Uh, mine has the 3070 Ti, which is again nothing, uh, nothing to scoff at. But uh, yeah, y you have the high-end one in this case, um, but that should be fine. You also have the higher-end screen, uh, the 4K. I have full HD, 360 hertz. Uh, let me see. I'm going to have to uh, throw you an invite. Uh, how do I do that? These are Max P indeed. These are not Max Q cards. Add friends yeah. in game. Invite. All right. So I've sent you an invite. Hey. There you go. Shift S F2. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Cool. All right. Um, now. I have to say, we, yeah, again, we, we don't have um, sound on this, so are these Max-Q graphics cards? Um, I don't think so. No, no, I just mentioned uh, yeah, they are, no. they are Max-P. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah Max-P, yeah, yeah. Max performance. Yes. That's, <laughs> yeah. uh, all right, um, play, and we'll just, yeah, I mean, we, 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 we don't play this game that much, but... Um, <laughs> Not at all. Yeah, you, well, you, you have do, played it before, indeed. Yeah. yeah. So I'll just join max matchmaking here. It's been a while for me as well, to be fair. Mm -hmm. The fans are really loud. I mean, uh, they're not that bad from my perspective. And especially if I would be wearing headphones, probably it's going to be not very noticeable. Uh, you're, you might hear them because honestly, I mean, these fans, or sorry, this microphone, and for Jesse, it's going to be the same. They're actually quite close to, uh, to the laptop. Uh, but before, oh yeah, and actually also I'm going to uh, switch it to, this is the combo view, so mm -hmm. um, mm, mm, uh, yeah, my lab, the Titan is, is where, you know, where I'm located, and then uh, the uh, Raider is uh, on the screen with Jesse there. I've also added the, uh, the specs, uh, which are rotating, so you can see uh, the specs we're running, basically. Yeah. Oh, now I have to select. I'll just up the, the, the game volume just a little bit. So you guys, oh, you guys can tell us if you hear it. monsters behind us, right? 
<laughs> I can only use shotgun. Um, yeah, so you can uh, on the left you can see some uh, uh, characters you can choose. Some of them are probably uh, not available anymore. Hmm. Uh, because they are uh, already uh, knocked out or something like that. Uh, let's see, I, I prefer one with a, like a, a gun, not a, not a shotgun, but a different gun. Yeah, this guy looks nice. How do I lock in? Uh, you select them and then on the top left you have a button that says confirm loadout. All right, yeah, I'll just which is a thing you can, uh, you can press. Um, there we go. Yeah, so if you're, if you're noticing uh, fan noise, obviously yep. a lot of um, performance needs to be cooled. And like Peter mentioned, um, the one I have in front of me uh, has even more uh, high-end hardware than, uh, yep. than the Titan uh, Peter is playing on. So, um, and I only have two fans in this case. Yeah. I do have a lot of... Uh, oh my god, what's the sensitivity? <laughs> Hold on. All right. So, um, I, I, yeah, I do have a lot of uh, cooling efficiency, yeah. um, but still, uh, Peter's laptop would be much, um, much more friendly uh, noise-wise. Yeah. So yeah, this this game, I would uh, uh, indeed advise you to not really start running around too much, uh, and if you see. Certain things. Also, look at the ceiling and and the walls uh, above. So, if you see some things like this, this is still fine, I think. You know, it's oh yeah, it's auto tracker, all right? But it looks like we have a mission that we need to plant auto trackers in, in nests, which uh, fortunately our teammate is doing a good job. So we can uh, we can just back him up. I think that will be fine. Okay. Someone is asking if I can increase the game volume, so I'll try to to do that. Uh, increase. Yes. Oh no, it's it's on max. No, Maybe don't you worry. Can I'll I, because I need to probably do that here. Um, okay. Yeah. So hopefully this is uh, this is a bit better. Maybe. <laughs> is there an in-game FPS counter, by the way? Uh, I don't know actually. Interface. I, I'm wondering. Because I have no clue. Interface. Maybe you guys know. Show HUD. We'll find out what I, I, I cannot uh, install any no. other software right now. So. Indeed, of course, we didn't have time to uh, mess around with um, with Afterburner, for example. Oh crap. What is our third guy doing? <laughs> yeah. We're, well, we're kind of abandoning him here. So right now we want to clear the room. Yeah, we kind of just you know just follow him around. I guess okay. is the best advice. Because <laughs> like behind us is the uh, is the entrance to the next area. But mm -hmm. I think we still have to. Uh, or bullpen is saying something about bullpen. So I guess we need to go there. I'm not sure where the bullpen is. And again, we are playing without sound. So yeah, this is we have no a idea bit indeed. strange for us. We have GeForce <laughs> Experience installed Alt R. Well, I can try that. I'm not sure if we have. It. No, I don't have GeForce Experience installed. No. Just the drivers um, in this case. Hmm. I actually haven't played this game enough to know what we really have to do here. There are a couple <laughs> of set missions that I know. You know, are are like the things that you need to do. I've actually seen zero <laughs> enemies in this level as well so far, mm -hmm. which is kind of surprising. All right, so he's going around killing the nests. Is the Titan lagging at all? Because the radar seems to be perfectly fine with the Titans, while the Titan just looks a bit more choppy. Um, hmm. Yeah, I'm seeing that as well because I've got the, like the. Um, uh, director's PC in front of me with the monitor and it does look choppy there but on my screen it looks buttery smooth yeah I uh, I wouldn't think that the Titan uh, probably would be less smooth than this so. yeah it's probably more something to do with the capture card uh, struggling to keep up maybe bandwidth 
because on my stream, really, I, if I had to venture a guess of, you know, the FPS now uh, that I'm having, uh, it's definitely way over 100. Um, probably, yeah, it can't be less than that because it feels really smooth. How does there's the keyboard feel, Peter? There's no, what, sorry? How does the keyboard feel? Uh, really, really nice as well. I mean, I, I like uh, low profile keyboards, uh, especially. And, and this this thing feels that really really well, nice. Um, that especially, I mean, again, for for a laptop, this is uh, this is really special. This really feels good. Oh wow! Okay, so we have to. Yeah, oh, this goes to the next area. All right, blowout kit here. I don't know. I have to loot this. Yeah, probably we can. Yeah. Oh, it's smooth. Yeah, I mean, it's. Um, it's a shame that if, if it's showing some stutters uh, on the live stream because that's mm -hmm. really I'm looking at it as well and indeed it does look a bit less smooth looking at my screen honestly um, sometimes 1080p I'm used to, to 4040p so uh, for example in Windows um, I do notice when it's, it's 1080p because it, it, everything looks a little bit less sharp and stuff like that but in the game honestly if you would have told me this was uh, 1440p I Air probably would have believed you. I hope there's something yeah, going to happen now. But. Yeah, probably. Because well, we're <laughs> waiting for the next area to load. Uh, go to airlock four or five, and the airlock is here, so we kind of have guess. to huddle up here. Okay. Okay. Sabotage. <laughs> Defend explosive charges. All right, so we're going to have to go with him. Does the Titan and or Raider have a, a G-Sync screen? Ooh, we're going to have to maybe check that after this game. Checking that while playing, that's going to be an issue. Okay, so this guy knows what he's doing. All right, here's the nest. Oh, I should not really go through this smoke, right? Yeah, here we go. Wait for this to dissipate. Plant. All right, so I'm planting one of the charges. Okay. All I have right, no it's idea planted. If I that, have that's going to bring out some um, some enemies, probably. So we have to be uh, on our guard here. Okay. All right, so he's closing stuff off. This guy's smart. He knows what he's doing. I just shot some. He or she. All right, so there's something in the ceiling here. Alright, so there's another nest here. Oh, that's a V. Damn, I haven't played this game for a while, so... Alright, we have to kind of uh, stay in the area, I guess, to protect... Oh, we have to do two explosive charges. Where's the other one? Oh, right there, on that side. Okay, I guess we can go there. And then I'm, I'm guessing once we've put that in place, it's gonna... We're gonna have to uh, defend them. Okay. Meaning, there's probably going to be monsters rushing us. I'm going to plant this one as well now. The colors of the uh, outrage, the monitor. Showing all kinds of activity. Yeah, yeah there's, a, there's a monster there. Don't we have to? Charge under Don't attack. Can't let that happen. Which one is? Oh, that's the other one. He's there, right? He should be defending it, I think. I guess my shotgun makes a lot of noise. Oh, crap. I got attacked. Yeah, it does. <laughs> that, that does make sense. Is there someone behind you? Yeah, you have these indicators, right? So even even though we are playing without sound, um, you should be able to tell. Without sound, it's <laughs> charge under attack. Yeah, it is. I mean, this is this game really is meant to be played with sound, so you, you know yeah. that really tells you where the enemies are coming from. I'm gonna I'm gonna check uh, with the other guy. All right. Looks like he's got things under control for the most part. Alright, completed. 
good to say. Nice. I hate them. We can't rely on them anymore. Thanks for taking Boom. over us. Holding cells. I mean, I did get injured a bit, so. There's uh, some medikit somewhere. I could probably use that, but it's. Oh, there we go, medkits. Uh, but it's always just temporary in this game. It's like boost health temporarily. It doesn't really do that, um, like really recover anything. Mine is sticking to 125 now, but it did decrease, yeah. Yeah. All right, let's uh, let's follow this guy around. Maybe pick up some ammo, and then yeah, who knows? Maybe we can go to the next area. I mean, I'd be surprised because this is area two already, and area three is the most difficult one. So okay. what what do you say? Do we go for it? I don't think we have a choice because this guy's already just gonna here. go for it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, honestly, this would be the first time that we uh, actually uh, that we actually that I would enter a, a third level on, on this game. Okay. This map looks cool. Yeah, it is, yeah, actually. How's the build quality? Does it feel good? Uh, yeah, man. It's, uh, it's really sturdy. Like, some laptops are a bit flimsy or something, but these ones, especially because they are the bigger, uh, uh, heftier ones, they are going to uh, feel more sturdy and, and way better build quality. There's, no, there's pretty much no flex in the chassis. Yeah, I can push down on it, but there's, there's pretty much no flex whatsoever. Alright, we're gonna have to take out these nests. Alright, there's something in there. Oh crap, there's these things on the wall. Those are fucking annoying. Yeah. Shoot those as well. Like, if you see these yellow blobs on the wall, shoot them. Because they... Okay. They, uh, they will attach to you if you walk near them. Mm. And basically just ruin your day. see some questions about the max TDP and TGP, I presume, uh, for the GE67. So TDP-wise, um, it's 150 watts. TGP is 175 watts. But the total power we can distribute is 250 watts. Um, so it's... Uh, it depends on the on the user scenario if you're using more watts for your GPU or your CPU. Am I sleeping? No, I'm. Uh, <laughs> I'm trying to pay attention to yeah, multiple screens. Yeah, I mean this, this is a like a game that requires you to pay attention. Otherwise, you're gonna die quite soon. So. And the Titan has a partly metal chassis. Yeah, I should have set, set up Afterburner beforehand. I mean, honestly, we, we tried to, but uh, we ran short of time a little bit, uh, yeah. unfortunately. Right, well, do we have to go out? I, really, I, I, I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> oh, that's oh we have to go here. Oh, missing in action. Oh, we can, uh, all right, so we need, yeah, if you, if you can come here. There's I'm like, um, if you lose an operator, if you die during a mission, uh, mm -hmm. basically your, your operator ends up in one of these holders, or oh, like yeah, what they call a tree. I can pull um, it. What it does, yeah, you can try and pull them out. Once you start this procedure, what you have to do is you see all these vines coming to the tree. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you need to shoot them, uh, especially those glowing things that come uh, out. And then where they attach to the wall, that they open up every now and again. And once they open up, you can, you can shoot them to kind of get rid of them. Oh, there's a good but we have to destroy them, uh, otherwise they, they keep coming back. Can I need it? Any noticeable heat coming from the laptop? I mean, oh, the keyboard itself is really hot. The keyboard itself is not hot at all. Um, only near the the fans and the exhaust. Yeah, there it's there it's getting a little bit more hot. Ah, so so this is quite hard, actually. And unfortunately, we failed because it's uh, you really have to be uh, on point and uh, 
shoot those vines whenever they get close. Okay. I still have no idea what I'm doing, sorry. <laughs> that's fine, that's fine. <laughs> but I'm enjoying Again, it. Again, for the first it's time that you're playing this, I'm pretty impressed. Okay. Come on, let's die. So I'm not sure, I think now what we're gonna have to do is just go to the extraction. Oh yeah, we're, you're already yeah. going there. All right. yeah. I'm, okay. I'm gonna see if I can follow you guys. Yes, the 77, both 77s come with 4K. Yeah, as an option. Oh jeez, there's like a, a staff meeting going on here. Of those can monsters. I jump? Why can't I jump? I want a buddy, bunny. What are you doing? Catch up with you guys. <laughs> yeah, 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 I'm here. Yeah. Sure. Okay. So we are requesting the track. Let's do this. Celebrate that wasn't bad at all. Pretty good mission, I guess. We have extracted successfully, so that's a thing. <laughs> Who's using the most powerful laptop? So that would be um, Jesse. Yes, if, if you're purely looking at components then yep. uh, then it's then it's this one yeah. any noticeable heat on the keyboard honestly i'm just putting my hands on the keyboard now it it, it feels warm but definitely not hot N not no. so hot that i would say it's it's becoming anywhere near uncomfortable or anything like that so it, it it's warm but that's it yeah yeah and the same for me it's i mean most keys aren't even warm they're they're just normal when you're uh, moving towards the, the fans, uh, then it gets a little bit warmer, but that's about it. I can just touch everything. No, I can't, I can't show you, unfortunately. Yeah. The thermal solution is doing what it's supposed to do. <laughs> yeah, it's working really well on mine as well, I have to say. I mean, Sure, there are some, there are some uh, fan noise that you can notice, and it's especially noticeable because I'm not wearing any headphones, I'm, I, I don't even have any game sound because we're strictly just uh, uh, putting, yeah, streaming the game sound to the HDMI capture, so only you guys are hearing it. Um, let's do one more game. Um, and then after that, I'm gonna do the, the last two winners uh, for, this, mm -hmm. uh, for this one. But it's really, really good, and I, honestly, it's really enjoyable. Uh, it, the, 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 this uh, laptop is just, you know, d doing this game, uh, performing it effortlessly. Um, and again, it, mine is, is playing on uh, 1080p, so I would expect that. Um, but still, there is, is, yeah. Yes, the fans are spinning a bit, but yeah. honestly, if I'd be wearing a headset, I probably wouldn't even notice. You won't notice it. Yeah. And the keyboard is, is really enjoyable. There's really something satisfying about it. Is there any performance difference between the GE se uh, 67 and 77, if both have the same specs? Uh, no. Is it is that the um, size difference, 67 and 77? Yes, yes. so the 67 is the 15.6 inch and the 77 is 17.3 inch. Hmm. Um, there shouldn't really be a difference. Um, at least, uh, definitely not noticeably. I don't do um, the 67 does have the uh, the OLED screen, uh, so maybe it, it, it might take away, you know, in the end, uh, a, a, a couple FPS or, or frames or anything. The, the the only thing that might be noticeably different uh, is that the, the 15 inch version would have to cool maybe a little bit harder than the 17 inch one, but that's mm. that's basically it. That's the, I guess it's uh, it's 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 not noteworthy the difference. No. Yeah. Chaos is my home. So uh, okay, oh, so seventy six versus seventy seven is that the generation? I e the Raider. Um, I think it's the other way around. So the the last number, uh, indeed, I think is a generation. Correct? Yeah, that's correct. Yeah, and then the yeah. first number that would be the indication of uh, the size. Yeah, correct. So there you go. All right, so last mission. 
Let's see, what do we have to do? MIA operator. Ooh, so we're gonna have to start off trying to rescue the uh, the operator. So basically mm. the last mission we had in the, in the previous uh, map, that's the thing we're gonna start out with now. So we're gonna have to find that tree. That's actually on our left, by the looks of it. Okay, you might wanna start pulling because I think I did that wrong. <laughs> Sorry? If you, if you want to pull out the operator, I think oh. I did that wrong. No, actually, uh, just by starting to pull, or may, uh, maybe one of us has to stay there and, and, and pull the operator, I'm not sure. Okay. Let's try and um, uh, like clear out most of the level before we start the mission as well. Yeah. Because I think the, the more we already clear out before we start, that might help. Okay. Um, but I'm not sure, actually. Our teammates pulling. What are you doing? I have to shoot them now, right? Airway fighting back. Pull our operator out of the way of the archery. Missed one. I'm reloading. Alright, I'm just gonna try and neutralize this nest as well. You doing alright? Your Not really, but I know what to do. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, think. once you get the hang of it, oh, there's somebody coming from the hall. Yeah, right, he's, he's got it, I think, yeah, right. These are yeah. way too many. Okay. Uh, I just lost this man. What the hell did you put it down? Wait, I have somebody, uh, something attacked me as well. Where? Where? I don't see. I think I'm shooting way too much. Yeah, I was trying to reach chat at yeah. the same time. It's, oh wow. Uh, Reloading. Can I oh I think we lost the operator. <laughs> the other guy. No, he's still standing. Oh! Uh wait, did we already do this? Did we already activate this? Yeah, because our team the teammates was pulling on it. Oh, and you're then kidding I me. just tried to do the thing. Right, I was off doing other things, uh. I didn't even notice. <laughs> Monolith Spa, what is that? Oh, okay, it looks like we yeah we can move on to uh, like a, a next area or something. Uh, dungeon crawling gamer, definitely no uh, signs of throttling, no. Refill tech, uh, it's always good. I mean, I don't have an FPS counter right now, but it's not like... Uh, I definitely cannot feel that FPS is dropping or anything. Indeed, I mean, there's also just pretty much no dip whatsoever. It just feels really smooth uh, in terms of the, yeah, everything. Wow, the go? kickback on this thing, man. Jeez. Where are you going? Uh, nowhere yet, because we saw some uh, monsters here, so I'm probably just gonna okay. see if we can take care of them first. I thought, oh, thought you shot him in the head. You're both nearly dead. Sorry? You're both nearly dead. Yeah, I know. I got attacked uh, a while ago when I was trying to reach. Okay. <laughs> Should be fine though. Should be fine. I think. Maybe we should be heading to, to that other area there. Because mm -hmm. um, that looks like what oh, should be the objective now. Yeah, definitely check out um, check out online reviews. Um. Yeah, there's a lot of them online uh, at the moment, and um, the ones that I saw as well. They, I mean, they're all really positive about these uh, laptops. They're really impressed about the performance uh, that they offer over uh, co comparative or even uh, well, especially li yeah, last generation model, for example. It's a big leap, big jump in terms of performance. I think we just have to do the airlock thingy, right? Yeah, probably. Yeah. But I know, I don't know where our teammate is. Yeah, he's probably gonna come once we activate this. I expect. 
Are there any other modes in this game, Peter? <laughs> Someone's asking. Yeah, it's, uh, from what I remember, it's kind of just this. Uh, like, yes, there are different kinds of missions, but it's all uh, PVE, let's say. So it's co-op versus um, the environment versus uh, uh, enemies that are not players. Yeah. So it's really, this is a co-op game. It's actually nice if you're looking for a... Oops. <laughs> I think I, I threw a smoke. It's, it's nice if you're looking for a, a game to, to play with your friends. Exactly, it's something different. Oh, teammate yeah. MIA. Oh, lol. Alright, well, <laughs> he got down. Alright, well... We can, we can try it. <laughs> the next, the next level. But I don't think we can go back now. He's gone. He's had. Yeah, it's not like we are uh, very likely to succeed, but let's see what we can do. Let's see. What do we have to do? Specimen. All right, so we have to locate a capture target. Oh crap! So that means we shouldn't kill it. We have to actually try and capture it alive, most okay. likely. Damn. Can I melee it? Alright, we can take out these nests. This should help a little bit. Here. Oh, here we go. I was gonna say. I could swear there was another one. Ooh, look at that. There's a nice, nice wine rack here at the wall. Oh, jeez. Oh, was there 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 I, could, I could do a takedown, but it's oh, down. we located the uh, the specimen, but I, I have no idea how to how to capture it. So what what's it doing? I just lure it. We have to lure into the extraction point. This one near you, or the elite grunt, that's the one. Uh -oh. Charging. Uh -oh. Me. Yeah. Oh, I thought I could bolt over this. There's one behind you as well. Oh, did you kill it? Ah, uh, oh, that's what. Ah, uh, okay. I, I thought it said takedown. So I thought, okay, maybe we can stun it with the takedown, but the no. takedown was a kill. <laughs> yeah, indeed. Okay. Yes. Okay. Now you have to, Whatever. there's like a specific area. Yeah, I, I mm. didn't mention this, but and if you don't know, it's quite hard to, to know yeah, about yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a specific no area clue. where you kind of have to lure them then, like almost like Ghostbusters, you know, like right, lure them to right. the trap. Yeah. And then you activate the trap and, and you capture it. Ah, okay. So yeah, it's, oh, it's, it's, it's pretty neat. More challenging than you, than you think a lot yeah. of the time. Yeah. Yeah, the stream uh, at Peter's side is a bit laggy. Uh, I have yeah, to say, it's even that. even on my screen, uh, from what I'm experiencing, but what I see on the uh, on the stream, it's it's totally different because it's it's much smoother even uh, uh, on my uh, my screen. Exactly. I mean, what I'm seeing as well, it's really smooth. So I, I yeah, it's it's a capture card issue, I think. Mm -hmm. um, because also for me, I mean, this is really, really smooth. Uh, there's no hiccups, no stutters whatsoever. Left to up here. Left to up here. What I do notice is I've not been playing game for a while, and <laughs> I suck now. <laughs> I have become really bad at it. But I guess that, that's what happens if you, if you don't practice, right? Yeah, keep, keep practicing, guys. <laughs> yeah. Climbed up the wall there. Yeah, mm. maybe 
we should try and move on to the next level. I'm not sure. Let's see what's behind door number three. Can't blame your PC. No, actually, that I I can blame pretty much everything except the PC uh, <laughs> for for my poor performance. Uh, the the PC is uh, is actually lifting my performance up, <laughs> even though that's almost not possible. Uh, or let's say, yeah, I'm 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 kind of pulling it down. I'm letting the PC down. Uh, whoa. Hell is that? Oh, did I just walk into one of those yellow oh, things? Oh yes, you've got this. Shoot them off me goo. if you can. Oh, I can. Okay. Just be careful. <laughs> but please do because if you oh, can. I shot the thing. Wait, hold on, hold on. If you can shoot them off. It will kind of help me preserve health. Oh. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> gas cloud. Yeah, I know. That's what I don't see anything. It's really annoying. Can okay. interact with this. All right. Yeah. Luckily, it was. I think it was only one. So. Oh, did I do the same now? Uh, no, I think it's there's oh. monsters here. Yeah, so. on top of us. Mm -hmm. yep, top of well. us three. Let's see if I can go from the other side, but I'm not sure. Yeah. Yeah. That was. I think there's more. Oh, yep. Yeah. Yeah, there he is. Okay. I've got oh. 6 HP, Peter. Dude. Sorry? I've got 6 HP. Yeah, I've got monsters here. That's fine. There was another one here. So these uh, guys, oh, are explodey guys. Yep. Um, 36. Oh. Whoa, 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 what's going on? What happened? Was I standing in one of, in a cloud or something? Or? I don't know. Alright, so they, they're coming for us now. What is our objective? <laughs> Uh, to move to that point, I think what we can see, like the white thing, um, which is 60, 50 meters, depending on where you're standing. Yeah, yes. uh, next to you. But there's a lot of monsters, and there's not that many. So what we could also do is just go back to the extraction point and um, call in the helicopter. Oh, you're down. You're on down, yes. Because of the toxins or something, I don't know. Do you get me up? I'm gonna try. Templar stand in possession detected. Caution is recommended. No. Careful now. Yeah, there was one monster here. Is there more? I only see the. Yeah, there's a lot more. But I'm just shooting everything. Is that is that what you're supposed to do? Sorry? I'm shooting everything. Is that what you're supposed to do? Kind of. Okay. But you have to, normally you have to probably be selective about it mm -hmm. uh, because you can't really shoot everything. Um, because you're, you're basically just drawing attention to yourself. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm dead. Yep. I noticed that. So, yeah, it's uh, a cool game. I don't even see the guy that, that shot you, basically. And it's he, was like in, he was in the door opening. Hmm. Uh, there are 1080p versions. Beleza. I'm gonna see if I can... Uh, pick you up. I'm here. Here. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Yep. Where is the extraction point? Where is it? Where is it? Oh, there it is. Okay. Let's see if we can go there. Um, so the GE that I'm playing on has a 4K screen, but the one that Peter is playing on doesn't. So 
That's why he's not playing in 4K. <laughs> for what you did there you go. Thank you for preserving my body. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no problem, no problem. I think we're gonna we're gonna leave it at this because yeah. honestly, yeah, yeah. it's a, it's a nice uh, time. See if we can get extracted. Here we go. <laughs> nice. Well, and then we're gonna draw the last uh, two winners. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, Jason, we, we tried that, but it only works if you have, uh, I think it only works if you have, uh, what is it, GeForce Experience installed, and actually we only have the drivers on here, so we didn't have the uh, GeForce Experience. 60% extraction bonus. Well, our teammate is screwed because 60% of zero is still zero. Yeah. All right, well, okay. But yeah, this uh, is really, really nice. Uh, and, and still, even also after playing this game, I'm just, you know, touching the keyboard. Actually, the trackpad feels cold to me. Mm -hmm. So the trackpad itself really actually feels cold. Oh, you, you can actually see, I, I still had it enabled because it was doing stuff. Uh, as you can see, I'm, I'm just tapping or patting the, uh, the, the trackpad. So it's bringing up all kinds of stuff. Um, but yeah, uh, that feels cold. Um, the rest of the, I mean, really near the screen, that's what I said, you know, that's also where, as you saw when um, uh, Jesse also opened up the laptop, that's where most of the um, heat is located, where the, the, the CPU and the GPU is mostly at the top, uh, so towards the screen where from where I'm sitting. Um, and that's where it feels the, like the hottest of everything, but I can still, it's not as hot that I cannot put my fingers on it. So I can still put my fingers on it without burning them. So uh, they're warm, yes. But it's not hot. I wouldn't call it hot. Yeah. Zero to ten for the Titan and GE. Uh, I would say the Titan. It's pretty damn cool. It's like an eight or a nine. I really like it. Uh, and that's probably only because I, I only get like a, I would rate it higher if I had more time with it, probably. Because I, only, I, I can only uh, do so much during the live stream and I didn't have that much time to play around with it uh, beforehand. Because we only get a limited time with these samples, unfortunately. But damn, if I would be uh, allowed to take this thing home with me, that would be sweet. Uh, the screen brightness? Uh, let me see, because I just want to see where the... Uh uh, what is it? The brightness uh, shortcut is. Yeah, I can turn it all the way down, all the way up. And it yeah. is, it's, you know, more than bright enough, I'd say. And it has a, um, a matte finish. Yeah. So um, the, the QHD and Ultra HD ones usually have 400 nits, um, sometimes a bit more. Um, but yeah, it's the, it's it's not always um, uh, visible to us uh, how many nits a screen has, so uh, we only know that when once once the production units arrive. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, palm rest is almost always called the most. Yeah, I mean that's that's fair enough indeed. That's also again why th there's almost no um, hardware located there uh, w w that gets hot, but still. Um, I'm going to see if I can draw our last two winners for today as well. Uh, let me see. Draw winners. Two. So, um, and in the meantime, yeah, if you guys have any questions, still let us know. Um, we'll try to answer them before we uh, end the stream. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this as well. Uh, again, we, we don't cover laptops that much. Uh, but you know, we're, whenever we do get the opportunity and there's a big launch like this, uh, especially a high end as well, it's really, uh, really nice. Um, and we were happy and, and lucky kind of to, to be able to get the samples uh, uh, from you guys. So thank you for that. We, um, um, we were actually uh, uh, very excited, right? When, uh, <laughs> when the Titan showed up. Yeah, I know. Because yeah, yeah. Was, well, yeah, because the Titan was kind of a surprise, right? We only yeah. had the uh, the Raider lined up uh, for yeah. sure, so we knew we had that one. Um, yeah. But then, in the, yesterday, you uh, you surprised us, uh, or else I don't know if HQ surprised. But anyway, this sample also showed up, and you're like, "We also have a Titan." Yes, like, yes. <laughs> that's nice. Yeah. Among all of those laptops, which one uh, would we choose? Um, I would I would choose the uh, the Titan myself, but that's just because. Um, I like the mechanical keyboard. 
uh, and I don't mind that it's it's bigger because I uh, I have to say um, I, I wouldn't be taking it that many places anyway. I would probably just put it somewhere like a desktop replacement, literally. I it would is. just put it somewhere. It's it's maybe easier to, to put away in my situation where, you know, I, I have two young kids, so you don't want it laying around. That's, uh, that, you know, then you risk that they ac accidentally damage it or something. So you, you do want to be able to put it away uh, after you're done. And that's uh, very easy to do with this. Um, but w when you do put it up and, and you start getting, it's like, it's pretty much just a, a complete desktop replacement, uh, a, a, what it says on the tin. So yeah, um, really, really good experience. What, what would your choice be, uh, Jesse? Well, uh, among these two, yeah. um, I guess I would go for the Titan as well, just because of that, that mechanical keyboard. Uh, <laughs> it's, yeah, it's, it's just, it's just amazing. I mean, I've, I've always played on uh, on mechanical keyboards, um, mm. so I uh, I use either cherry red or cherry brown keys, and um, yeah, you, you just feel the difference. I mean, this uh, this one, the the keyboard on the GE is is great. I mean, uh, um, I have a GS myself. Um, it is really nice, and it it, yeah. it really it, it is really nice to just to type on, but also to game on. Um, yeah. But but that mechanical keyboard is just uh, such a such an awesome feature. Yeah, um, but there is something yeah. just just it's very satisfying about it. Yes, when you're it, that's yeah, yeah. it's really hard to explain. But once that's you've true. experienced that, and it's the same for, I mean, I I used to be about the silent keyboards, and then I I you know I've been using the GK50 Elite also for a while mm -hmm. with the you know, also with the clicky switches. But those are the full size, and then the the GK50 Low Profile. And once I started typing on those, you know, with the clicky, the, you just get used to it. And there's something, yeah. it's hard to explain, but it's like a hate it or love it thing. And I, I tend to love it. So it's, for me, it's like, you know, once you get that uh, feel for clicky and especially just mechanical switches in general, uh, there's nothing quite like it. And it's, um, it's hard to explain. It's something that, it's an experience, right? You, an experience you can talk about all you want, but if, if you've never experienced it, you probably don't know what it is that we're talking about but if you have that experience and, and you like it you know exactly what we mean um so yeah yeah definitely yeah i would be really happy if there would be a gs with mechanical keyboard <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah that would be nice then then i'm set i want a gs with uh, with those keys <laughs> ah, just the the the, the was it the, the smooth thin uh build yeah with uh, with these, honestly, with this kind of mechanical keys, with the ultra uh, low profiles, that that actually may be a good fit. But Maybe. then again, you, you know, that would probably raise the cost of the of the uh, laptop, though, yeah, because I, I, I my yeah. get and I don't know the details, but my guess is that these mechanical switches they're they're not cheap, right? They um, sure no no that they, no. they are not cheap, but no. uh, if it would cost me like, I mean, okay, I'm, I'm talking <laughs> from my own perspective now, but yeah, if yeah. it costs more. Yeah. I would definitely spend spend more just it because would be worth of that it for you. feature. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah for me, I, it's nice. I'm not. I guess it depends on how much it would increase the price, mm. right? But, but I think that's with pretty much the case with everything. Yeah. yeah. Uh, all right. Let's get to our uh, final two winners for today. Um, uh, yeah, we've drawn them. Here we go. Yeah. Okay. So uh, the nicknames are uh, Charfel. Congratulations, Charfel. You win a copy of the game uh, Rainbow Six Extraction. And uh, the last winner of today is called Yuka. Congratulations also to Yuka. So uh, we've got 10 winners in total today, quite a few. Um, yeah, we're going to send those codes out to you guys as soon as possible, uh, but probably at least this week. Uh, we hope you enjoy them. Uh, we hope you enjoy the game. Uh, we also hope you uh, enjoyed this live stream. Let me go back to the chat. Um, yeah, if there's anything others uh, that you guys would, would like to see maybe in, in upcoming live streams, if we cover uh, laptops in the future, let us know. Uh, also, maybe in, in, in the chat or in the comment section on YouTube. Um, and we can always consider, uh, you know, if you, want to, if you guys want to see more about uh, what's on the inside, we, we, we kept it superficial today. We kind of wanted to show you guys the inside of one of the laptops to, to also show you guys, you know, that it's uh, possible and, and actually doable to upgrade your laptop if you want to. Uh, but we, we could go into more detail in a, in a future stream, perhaps, uh, if you guys like that kind of thing. So we could consider that. Yep. 
Can you tell the winner names again? I'm sorry, I'm not going to repeat all of them, but uh, feel free after we end the live stream in a, in a few minutes to uh, you know, scroll back in the stream and you can, uh, you can check it. Uh, but don't worry if you did win, uh, but you missed us calling out your name. We, we do have your contact information, so we're going to send you the, uh, the game codes anyway. So no worries about that. Anyway, thank you guys uh, a lot for joining today. It was a lot of fun. Um, let me see. Uh, I've been told that next week is about uh, Xbox Cloud Gaming with oh. Trident X. So uh, Trident S is uh, is is kind of like a, 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 yeah, kind of like a console concept. Uh, what I saw is really uh, really nice, really something new. Um, and yeah, I mean, it will be cloud gaming, and I'm not sure if it's. Uh, and I know Eric is doing a lot of work on it right now, so it's, it's probably Eric uh, doing that live stream next week. I know he's really excited about it. He's going to test it over the weekend, so make sure uh, to check that out and ask him all about it next week on Wednesday, the 15th of June. Same time, same place. You know where to find us, and uh, we hope to see you guys next week. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye.